Justin Trudeau, Canadian Prime Minister. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why can't our Prime Minister do that? <laughs> oh, oh, he's boxing oh him up. Oh no, this has gone wrong. Oh yeah, you're not doing well. How's he going to defend the country if he can't defend himself? Went for a punch oh, and miss. Oh, oh, oh Trudeau oh, again oh, in the oh, face. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one after another. It's non stop. Oh, he's blooded him up as yeah. well. My bashed his nose. Has oh. he ended it? He's ended it. Yeah. Trudeau. I did not expect that. That's f***ing crazy. Wow. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at you eyes. He's like, how am I going to go back to the ends now? My name as a gangster has just been obliterated. Before this Tanya Hardy. I was cool. Isn't that I, Tanya? Oh, well, come on. Yeah, look. Tanya, Tanya Hardy and Paula, Paula, Paula Jones. Jones. Wow, we know what we're doing next. Oh, my God. That's, that's, that's some fucking claps. That's some banging claps. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome yo. to another episode of the KD Comedy Podcast. But not yo, just yo. the KD Comedy Podcast, no, though. No. It is a KD Comedy Podcast with the Squishy Logic Boys. Squishy Logic. The squishiest of squishy all the logic. logic. Including myself, your comedic baby face, and all around lovely person, yeah. I'd say. Completely lovely person, not um, polarising at all. No. Not polarising no. in the slightest. No. Or your dickheads. No. You and ain't never been a polarising nah, guy. I'm lovely. Yeah. I'm lovely. <laughs> and I'm joined by my fellow little dick energy detective, Mr. Nathan yeah. Paris. Say hello to the people in Mr. Na- Mr. Nathan. Hello. There you go, look at Hi that. Hi there. See, I'm already in audio mode because I had my switch radio earlier. Oh, my right, so you were vibing. Show. Yeah, you yeah vibing. I'll, I'll, I've been in the studio already. I've had, like, you know, the headphones on. I've been yeah. bouncing away to music. Nice. Um, it sounds good. like a fucking jam, to be fair. Sounds it's good. very good. Like, yeah, yeah. you'd probably enjoy it, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, you should apply. Would. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, maybe. It's, it's only, like... You, however quick you can do it is how many hours you need to do a, mom, a week. All oh, right. <laughs> Whenever you want, like you can, yeah. you've got good mics as well, so you could probably do it from home as well. I probably could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like doing that too. It's nice. Although it is really nice. Going I would like to do the like the post-apocalyptic metal treehouse. I've I've been thinking of a new you character. Could do a different voice each time yeah, when you think yeah. that would be quite cool. Yeah, I've been thinking of doing a a, a different um, a different character as well. All right. Right. Is he sexy? Yeah. He, he's, his name's Anaconda Louvre. <laughs> Sounds very sexy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's like Cobra Tate, um, hence Anaconda Louvre. I've never heard him called Cobra Tate to be honest. Yeah, that's what he calls himself. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't he? <laughs> that's what he calls himself. No, he doesn't actually refer to himself by that name. Yeah, he though, does. He, he refers to himself as Cobra Tate. Oh, I've never seen him do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't yeah, again. Yeah. How often do you really see people um, yeah. refer to themselves? I guess. Yeah, but like, the, yeah, play? yeah. So, so mine's Anaconda Louvre. You know, okay. um, yeah, yeah. Type of snake, type of museum. Oh, I see. <laughs> I forgot about the Tate Museum, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got thrown off that. Although I did, I did, I did consider Anaconda Lichtenstein because I think that's more. That's got a harder, a harder kick to that, it. That, obviously, yeah. but I think more people like myself too would assume that's a person, wasn't it? Lichtenstein. It wasn't that the guy. Um, yeah, it's he, also it, the, the he Ledger played him in Knife's Tale. I think there's a Lichtenstein Museum. Is there a Lichtenstein Museum? There's a place. Lichtenstein. Yeah, that's really got a museum. And then, of course, as I said, the Heath Ledger guy was uh, Sir Eric Van Lichtenstein. Uh. Have you seen Nice Tale? No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> got put first film I saw Paul Bettany in that was. Yeah. Do you know Paul Bettany? Yeah, I like Paul Bettany. Yeah, he's a he's a good actor. He is. Hello, he, Mr. Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see him first in this as um, a naked walking person. A naked walking person. <laughs> naked walking person. Wow. And then he becomes the announcer for the guy who's pretending to be a nice. Uh, so, uh, oh, I think Nickenstein. I might have actually seen this now yeah. I come to think of it. I think it's one of those ones where someone showed it me once when I was at university and I, I was way too blazed to pay attention. That sounds like that kind of film. It yeah, sounds yeah. like that kind of film. It is one of those yeah. films where you're like, I watched this when I was younger, you should watch this. And it's great, yeah, but then yeah. when you're in the middle part of your ageing process. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, I don't know if I've got the time for this. <laughs> not that, not that, it's like I'm just really high. Yeah. But I want to have the time. Gonna... Yeah. So you you got the time, but the mental but capacity... don't do the crime. Yeah. I don't, well, it depends on my crime, hold on. Yeah. Let's be realistic here. All right. If there was one thing that where, people have where, learned where about you, me, yeah. I keep it 100. Keep it 100. So let's talk about what crime we're on about here. motherfucker. And I will tell you if it's okay or not. Mm-hmm. So what crime are we talking about? 
What about beating up motherfuckers? Beating up motherfuckers? Beating up motherfuckers. Depends on the motherfucker. It does depend on the motherfucker. Depends on the motherfucker. Depends on the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, t- speaking of people beating each other up. All right. Um, You're not going to get to like masturbation circle jerks. No, not, not quite yet. Not oh, okay. quite yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Cool, cool, cool. Who do you think would win then out of the two of them? Oh, I know where it's going. Elon Musk <laughs> or Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have heard it. You know, before I get into it, then let, uh, before I give you this my is opinion, actually, this is this is related to the topic. Oh, this oh, okay, related to okay. The topic. I thought so you were going to say this is actual actually happening like they are talking about it like it's happening they are legit talking about yeah. it like they're going to do it thing is though the problem is um, as much as I like Elon Musk yeah. uh, he, he, he'll get killed he, he is that what you think yeah is yeah. that what you think yeah yeah do you okay the thing is I think, I think it, let's get into this let's get into okay. the nitty gritty because I think Elon Musk has got the body weight advantage like if he knocks Who that? if he hits Zuckerberg once Zuckerberg yeah. is going to fucking feel it right yeah yeah I don't know but I reckon Zuck's got that reach yeah, I reckon he's got that mm-hmm. reach, man. And uh, do we know if they're doing boxing or MMA or is it? Oh, well, I mean, I thought it was MMA. I it's, think it, if if, if it's happened, MMA, it'd be if he MMA. gets to learn how to get one of them fucking kicks out on him, ooh, mm-hmm. muscle depends, feel it. Much like when you're discussing a Batman uh, fight, it depends how much prep time they have too. That's true. They're both going to have the same prep time. That's the beautiful thing about but these kinds d- of fights. The difference but is who takes it seriously. That's the thing. Well, I reckon yeah. Zuckerberg takes it weirdly seriously. Yeah, yeah, because it's not quite fair because they get the same prep time now. But yeah. Zuckerberg is already a judo champion. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laughing for? <laughs> he is a judo champion. I know, but come on. I know. I've seen the video. He won. <coughs> like, and he can do it anyway. Ah, uh, boxes. Boxes, boxes everywhere. Will they touch you? I don't care. <laughs> Will they fall upon your head? Maybe so, then you'll be dead. <gasps> wow, that was such a good that rhyme was a out of nowhere. That fucking stellar rhyme. My God. I could see kids singing that and skipping ropes to it and shit. Yeah, 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 of course. fucking rad as hell. To be fair, the things that they do do uh, skip um, the little rhymes. It gets fucking place. dark, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It gets real dark. They're all really dark. There's like, one um, in America about this woman who killed her fucking her stepdad and mum. Lizzie Borden. Yeah, Lizzie yeah, Borden. Yeah. That is literally one of the ones they do. Yeah, yeah. It's fucked. Um, huh? Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 <laughs> wax. Yeah. Then she... Um, something I can't Then remember. she something... Something and then no no that, that's then she came about her mom and gave and gave her father forty one yeah yeah something like that yeah yeah, yeah 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 kids come on she never even got done for it as well Mm-mm. she was a court of public opinion and she I stayed in that town as well she stayed in yeah, a town yeah, yeah. full of people who thought mm. that she was a fucking murderer well yeah because like, she got Jesus. let off I don't blame her she got let off she's just standing up there like yeah what yeah, blood she was, she was ostracized what? by everyone. She was a lesbian at that but time. She what, didn't you know, care. Man, you know, no, they no, ostracised her because she was a lesbian. Yeah, That's why they ostracised yeah. her. But you know the thing is, she no, didn't care. <laughs> she was getting clunged. <laughs> no, <laughs> no one would ever fuck with her garden, though. No, no, no. Never no, in a no, million no, fucking no, years. Never, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I got anywhere near her. No fucking way. And I've actually looked into that for um, a podcast a while back as well, which I think I did with Alex. Yeah. Plant that one. I can't remember if you were doing it at the time or if that was still with Aaron Kersey and I just had Alex in, on. Yeah, I think it was like an in-between one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I did the run especially one with him. But this is a whole different vibe now. This is squishy logic. This yeah, is yeah of course. This is a whole this different This is day. why I'm, you know, today yeah. I am going to be bringing a um, topic that I've already covered. Nice. And killed him with comedy in the past because, yeah, like yeah. you said, this is squishy this logic. Is whole, this is different. Squishy logic. a whole different yeah. vibe. Last time when I did this yeah. topic before, I had like a full like list of facts and all this stuff to go through and things I wanted to hit on and all that. Yeah, yeah. I got things I want to hit on, but it's just in my head. Yeah, we vibe. In the now. noggin. That's the thing, we vibe. Now. Vibe it. I got We've little got things. good at doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You have like little topics written down just to remind you where you want to go sometimes, yeah, yeah, but the rest you just vibe it out. So, how ridiculous out of out of one out of ten? One, one to ten, sorry. One out of ten, okay. Yeah, one out, one out of ten. <laughs> On one out of ten, right. right, right. <laughs> so, out of ten, how ridiculous is the Elon Musk, oh, Mark Zuckerberg thing? Well, like I if mean, we if we really think about it, if we really have to give it, yeah, a number, yeah, it how it, how insane is it? It's I mean, like it could happen. They are rich. They can make. They can do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, but it's it's just literally two rich dudes just wailing on each other for everyone else's entertainment. Yeah, in a lot yeah, of yeah, ways, yeah. it has come back to like medieval times when knights would sort of mm, yeah, lance yeah, each other much. for the fucking everyone else's benefit. To be fair, it won't happen though because and if it does happen, then we will never see it because the tickets will probably be about like twenty grand. They've got to make oh, yeah. money that they care about. That's why everyone yeah. else fights. 
So the pay per view is going to be fucking like a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. minimum. How much would you pay for billionaire blood? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being like right in um. And you know what the worst bit is? They'll get there and then their two security guards will get in the way all the time. And be like, no, yeah, no, 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 tag no. team match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they could do. They could have like a tag team. I said they should go to um. Maybe, like, maybe they should do it like trial by combat, Game of Thrones style. It should be like. Okay, oh, I yeah, nominate yeah. my security guard, and I nominate my security well, guard. Well, they can only nominate like people from the public sector too. Like Elon Musk yeah. nominates Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, and who can Mark Zuckerberg nominate? Or what if he? What if he picked? Um, what's his face? The guy who taught Joe Rogan and um, is a bit of a, a conspiracy nut. I don't think he taught him, but Eddie Bravo. Eddie, yeah, yeah, he taught. He, he, he's been to his th- like Eddie oh, Bravo. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's been taught by a lot. Yeah. Of I'd like to see that. what happens in that fight. I reckon. I don't. Ah, know. I think Eddie Bravo would win. Eddie mm. Bravo is much more serious about his. Um, oh yeah, his that's all he does. That's all yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. But like that you know. and conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that I say like uh, I don't say he does conspiracy theories or he's into them. I say he conspiracy he theories. Conspiracy theories. He that's lives what that he does. shit yeah. like. <laughs> he's one of those people that legitimately like you know he watches some videos and he's like yeah I guess. See if it's flat. Yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. it has to be. There's yeah, yeah. No, there's no other way now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at all this mountain of evidence to the contrary. You're you all, know. you're all sheep. <laughs> you know that you're, um, you know, clutching onto the worst kind of conspiracy theories, the dumbest kind. If yeah. you've got Alex Jones telling you you're being, you know, to calm down, you're going too far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get back yeah. out of that hole. That's when you know you've done bad. So, mm-hmm. continuing with the topic. Oh, okay. Continuing with the topic we haven't started. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your this is this is your topic. Um, oh, okay. intro. This is the ten of two well, topics. It, I don't know how many it is actually. I don't know how many I've got down here. But the most ridiculous celebrity boxing fights. Oh, yeah. Th- that implies that there's been more than I thought there had been. There's been quite a lot more than you thought. I have not included quite a few that were on the lists. Okay. Because there's like double digits of yeah. these. And some of them with people that you just don't even know who they are anymore. Right? <laughs> they just yeah, don't, not now. Not yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not from the fight itself, of course. They weren't beaten to oblivion that no, badly. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Not all of them, anyway. No. Uh, so, um, American, I'm guessing some of them. Oh, yeah. Is there a Bob Barker in there? Yeah, the Americans started early with this shit. I yeah, mean, I haven't yeah. seen one with Bob Barker, but we can always yeah. check that out if there is one. But can you can you boot up the old YouTubes for us? Oh, you're on the old YouTube? The old YouTubes. Um... Shut up. Don't know if you want to do a, a screen grab on this as well so that we can sort of interject it in places and stuff like that. You, you know, know what I'm what? saying? That might be a good idea. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. In that case, then. Um, See, I told you, we're pros. Oh, yeah, 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 man. OBS. Oh, oh that's OBS. BS. OBS is the best, man. Like, there's there's paid versions out there that aren't as good as OBS. Yeah, yeah. Just why would you ever need a paid one? Yeah. Uh, get away, get away. Um, window capture. You can you can cover the talking while I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we're, we're, I mean, we're 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 doing shit here, people. So, um, <laughs> I'm not sure where to start with these, to be honest, mate. There's so many fucking weird ones, like genuinely fucking weird ones. I'm not. I'm really not surprised. There we go. Um, I don't want to start with one that we've seen before because I have mentioned one previously, which is Uwe Boll. Who? That, that's the the director who beat the shit out of all the um, the critics. That, that, oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So we we're, we're not going to do that before. one immediately, but we will come back to that one because oh, that okay. one just that one is just aggressive. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've um, seen that one, and it is aggressive, as you say. Do you want to see Todd Bridges versus Vanilla Ice? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, the time Todd Bridges, who I still don't know who he is. Versus vanilla fucking ice, mate. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out who that person is. So yeah, Todd. Vanilla ice. Versus uh, Todd Bridges. Todd. Oh, there we go. Google found Celebrity it. Celebrity boxing. There, there we, we go. go. Google Lee found it. Oh my god! They so got the headgear and everything. Yeah, they got the headgear. This is a proper boxing match. This oh, is a proper boxing. Wouldn't well, not a proper gear. boxing match, but you know what I mean. But like, I suppose amateur boxing, anyway. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it is, really. There we go. Wow! What a look at these two athletes circling each other. <laughs> yeah. I think True we've got athletes. Vanilla Ice in the black when the looks of it, yeah. and Todd Bridges. We in all know red. Todd Bridges in the red. Yeah. yeah. Critically acclaimed Todd Bridges, I think. <laughs> 
Oh! 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 oh, oh. oh. Swinging with the palm of his hand, he knows what he's doing. He fucking goes for it. The palm of There's his hand. There's old Todd Bridges. Oh, he does indeed. Look, you can see Vanilla's. <laughs> oh, he's. Oh, that was <laughs> a what, pathetic. What a swing. masculine hit that was! Then. Oh, Vanilla. Threw a punch. Oh, for Vanilla, the you're going down, man. You're oh going my down. God. Oh! 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 Dang Jesus! It. I thought I've, never seen, I've not seen any of these previously, by the way. I've only, okay, I've okay, only got okay, this, okay. so this is my first reaction to these. Oh, like, this is only two and a half minutes, this one, so we can oh. do a little commentator. I wonder if this is like the full match, though. I mean, it, it may, I don't know if it is, but... Could oh, be. Oh, 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 look at Icy one. coming back. Oh, Still. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 my God. They're going for it. Todd is Todd is picking his punches. That's the thing. Vanilla's just flailing when he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and but Todd is controlled ve- here. Fully flailing. If Todd Todd Bridges must be a musician. If he is, I'm going to listen to you on the way back, Todd. This is fucking pro. I'm sure Todd Bridges is in the um, guy that did The Hangover. I don't think so. No, what's his name? Todd something. Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Think, oh, God. Oh, come on, Nilla. Come on, Nilla. He's never... Thriller in the Nilla. Vanilla's never coming back. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. he got the Apollo. He's got some bounce. He's got some bounce. He's got some bounce. Oh, end of the round. Is that the end of the round? Or the end, end of the, the round. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's going to be more yet. Can we just point out as well, when he goes back to the... Um, when you can see it, when he goes back to the hard yeah, time or whatever yeah. it was. Very small audience. Very small audience. <laughs> considering, <laughs> considering this is like... Look at them. Look at it's it, It's like yeah. five or six rows. Yeah. I've seen more people in a comedy show, and that's saying something. I've, I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like in a local I've one, seen I mean. more people in a fucking school, a school picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like, that's not even a big school, like a kindergarten. Yeah, <laughs> one of the ones you were stalking, I'm guessing. We got Bruce Buffer there, though. Yeah, yeah. that's what name it is. Bruce Buffer is that the same guy? Oh, oh, it's the end. I just realised. That's got to be a TKO. Surely. Then. Well, no, it wasn't a TKO. Oh, a technical knockout is like, oh, well, you're not coming back from this. You're, you're, you're yeah, I think it in. was just a points in the end. Oh, right, it could have been just points. Yeah, I think oh, that's look at him. He's not knocked out. Oh, look at you. Oh, ice. my goodness. So pissed off. He's like, how am I going to go back to the ends now? <laughs> my name as a gangster has just been obliterated. Before this, people <laughs> thought I was the hardest person. Before this, Tanya before Harding. I was cool. Tanya Harding, isn't that I, Tanya? Uh, I don't know. That is, isn't it? I, Tanya person, the one who was in the Olympics and got her, um, the other person's legs broken before they started. Oh, shit, yeah. Have you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I know who you mean. Yeah, it is. Yeah. She was coming up on the next match. Oh, well, come on. I've not even si- I didn't no, even no, know. I swear that was, like, go to the end now. I'll pause it when he comes to it. Yeah, look, Tanya, Tanya Harding, Harding versus Paula, Paula Jones. Jones. Wow, we know what we're doing next. Oh, my God. Let's just go on to this. Yeah. Thing. You see, the, 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 it's endless, mate. This shit is everywhere. Wow. People think this is a new thing with, like, Elon Musk go. and with you know, nah, Logan nah. Paul and shit. Like, this has been going on since the fucking 80s, people. It might be a new thing, like, in regards to um, cage fighting and that. Yeah. I don't think there's been any of them yet. This is mental. I can't believe Tanya Harding, man. She, uh, so it was the Olympics. I forget which year it was now. And she yeah. was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to beat this woman. So I'm so just going to get someone to break her fucking leg. Yeah, yeah. It's walked past, just like got one of those police batons out and just right on her kneecap, mm-hmm. I believe. It's like a one and one and carry. It was like one of them who's walking past that, hit her and like never even stopped, you know, just carried yeah, on walking. Yeah. Oh my god, and this is the same night, and that's obviously the one that followed. How are they going to follow Vanilla Ice versus yeah. Todd Bridges, though? Yeah. I mean, come on, the name value alone. She looks like she is going to get the shit kicked out of her, to be honest. Yeah. Look, she looks like she hasn't trained we for all it. Know that, we all know that. Um, it's going to be just a slap fest. Yeah. And she looks serious, look at her. Yeah, she's got the killer mindset. We already yeah, know. Yeah, she's that. an Olympian, and yeah, yeah, we know that she. Yeah, she goes too far already. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we know. Maybe this will be her first taste she's of victory. Look, she's legit got guns. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. She's legit got guns. Oh, yeah, yeah, look she does, don't shit. she? Damn. <laughs> wow. She looks like Sarah fucking um, Connor. She Tanya looks, TNT Harding. Yeah, she looks like she's about to give birth to the saviour of humanity right now. That's oh, I, I don't know. She looks like she is the saviour of humanity. <laughs> but it's not. It's Tanya Oh, Harding. my God. Look at that. Look at that. Can't ask a woman their weight. <laughs> Back in the 90s or whatever this was. N- a question mark for weight. Yeah. That's oh, amazing. Hell. That's incredible. Because <laughs> you can't ask a woman their weight back then. You just, oh, you can't really you can't. now. You can't. 
No. You, nobody can answer what it's a woman is. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, nope. sir. Nobody can answer what a woman is, but they can say that you should never ask them their weight, though. Yeah, that's true. Hundred percent. Yeah. Come on. I'm so fucking stoked for this fight, man. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> be amazing. This is literally this is so okay, shit that you, that people would talk about like randomly. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I mean I didn't know this existed. The fact no. that Tanya Harding's in a boxing match. Yeah. That's amazing. I really want to know if this is pre or post the um oh, attack. It's be post. You to four, surely. But then at the same time, why would they have her in? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because her reputation was smudged a bit. But I don't think she. I love that she's wearing the fucking red, white, and blue. <laughs> and she didn't get done for it, though, did she? So she's taken. A, she's taken a few though. Yeah, you know what? I've forgotten to actually watch it. Yeah, I've been talking. <laughs> Look at her. Uh, she's oh. getting her hand out. <laughs> oh, oh, there oh, goes yeah. Tanya. Oh, she's broken through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows you now. She knows you. She's pretending you're a kneecap. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> She's like the predator. Yeah, yeah. You know? And not, not, not the kind of school ones. No, okay. no, not those ones. Okay. No, they're a different kind. Uh, I would just like to know bopped who would right take on me. the nose there, Tanya. Bopped right on the nose. Tanya got bopped. Yeah. Oh, my... She's oh, look at oh, 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 look at this. Uh, the one in the black lost all idea of how to box now. Yeah. She started flailing her hands in front of her. She started running away. Yeah. <laughs> at least she turned around and ran for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Now she's just, oh. Tanya's just going back. Oh, that's a, that's a slap fight. Oh, she's just walking That wasn't even a punch there from Tanya. Oh, I think they've ended it. Or was that the end of the round? Oh, it might be the end of the round, actually. Yeah, yeah. End of the round. Is it only okay. one round, though? Is that why that's it's celebrity boxing? Well, they, they look like they're, give, they're giving a... Oh, yeah. It's only one round, though. They're only showing us one round. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wanted to see the outcome of that. <laughs> what an amazing boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting Memphis. Oh, that's a... That looks like it might be wrestling. No, Jesus that's a, that's another Christ. One. Samantha Brown. She just kept going, then. Wow. She got a taste for it. Yeah. Oh, 2003, so it's definitely post... Um, yeah. Definitely post the attack. Oh my god, look at this old video style here. There you go. Booing. Fucking <laughs> booing. <laughs> Sustained a dislocated right elbow and could not answer the bell for the second round. The winner. Cassiano uh, is the type of guy that could have given him a little bit more work. <laughs> the Jesus. The sound doesn't seem to match you watch on screen. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not even sure who's who when I'm looking at them. No. I think she was in black. Oh, she looks angry. She probably would have been in the UFC. The UFC was around back then, you know. Yeah, probably. Probably. I'm not even saying she's a good fighter. I'm just saying the anger in her face reminds me of Wanda Rousey. Yeah. Like, just straight up, the look of contempt oh. for oh. your enemy. Oh. Oh, they're going, oh, God, Lord, they're just wailing on each other now. Oh, she's down. Tried to put him in an arm lock. Remembered where she That's, was. That's that just that stopped being a boxing match, and that just became two people wailing in each look. other's face. <laughs> it really did, didn't it? I want to go from like here somewhere. There it there is. You go. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, oh, God! That went ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that over there! Look, I'm so glad that uh, Tonya Harding was able to speak out about the Nancy Kerrigan attack. That really helps her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really glad she did that. Should we, should we move on to a, a, no, a new God. fighting? Please, fight? God. What about Kim Kardashian and Tamara Frappacella? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian boxing. Oh, my God. <laughs> They actually uh, had a bit about it on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Oh, I'm not surprised, yeah. I want to uh, see the fight, don't... Yeah, just the fight, yeah. Where is it? Oh, That's Rob Kardashian. That's, uh, that's I think we're going to have to watch a bit of Kardashian. I think we're going to have time. to, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Fine, fine. Oh, oh, here we go, though. Oh, so this looks like this with um, the Rob Kardashian from what I just oh, saw. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just double-check that. Look, I feel I saw him here. Rob yeah, Kardashian yeah, takes yeah. on someone. Some guy. Some dude. <laughs> I'm going to assume Kanye West in whiteface. <laughs> God, that guy looked like fucking 
Oh, there they are. Look. Cut price fucking... What's his face from The Office? Who? Oh, no, I thought that was Chris Jen- Caitlyn Jenner then. Oh, yeah. No, that's Caitlyn Jenner. No, no, no that's, that's not Caitlyn that's Jenner. That's not Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> that's, uh, what, what's her face? Uh, Caitlyn Jenner was Chris Jenner. Yeah. I'll skip this forward. This this doesn't fucking yeah. matter. No one gives okay, a shit about okay, that. Okay. We'll go about that. I want to see the... Oh, no. <laughs> there, 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 there he is. Oh, is he the one in there? Uh. Okay, keep going. Is that him? Keep going, keep going. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, uh... Oh, my God, this guy... Oh, was it was, it was, it was him. Him before he was her. Yeah. Him before... That, look at, look at him right there. He, he became the, um... He became the, the woman, woman of the, of the year. year. Yeah. Look at that guy who became... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, God, how many boxing matches were there? I know, it just it doesn't fucking stop. This is feed of Rob Kardashian one. Yeah, <laughs> we're just skipping through it like fire. Yeah. All right, so there we go, another one. Okay, now Chief, I think Chief, I got it was a charity fight, man. She was trying to brain damage yeah, her. Yeah, she was. Maybe to be fair, maybe that like knocks her sense into her, and that's when she got rid of Kanye. Maybe. <laughs> I'd love to see the um. Y- you know, the timeline for that. See if it matched up. I got a feeling that it did. Yeah. Get my mic back in its actual okay. position here. What about. What about love? Bigfoot versus the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> right? You heard me right. Bigfoot, Bigfoot versus the Loch Ness Monster. And this is not boxing then? Mm hmm. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, it's boxing. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's it's a it's a it's a very very unique film. Like no one ever really got to see them previously and guarantee that they they actually existed. Are you sure this exists? Put boxing match. Okay. Nineteen eighty eight. Nineteen eighty. ITB World Championship is it this? I don't know. Mike Tyson and Michael Spinks. That was. Um, I don't think they've got footage of it. I don't think it. Even actually, exists. hold on, no. I I've spelled it weirdly though. Um, and I don't know if it's actually spelled like that as well. You know, the Loch Ness. I think it might be L O C H. Okay, no, that's um. No, that's that's U F C. Yeah. Uh, I don't no, think it's there. No. I don't think it's there. It does not seem to be. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for, but no, I can see what I'm not looking. Yeah, yeah. I can see what I'm not looking. I'm really disappointed. I was hoping that would be one of the ones that would just be. Wait, there. so you didn't even know what it looked like? No. Oh no, my I've god! I've not seen so, any of these. So, so how, where was this coming from? Then? I've not seen any of these before. This how, is the thing. Yeah, I don't, wh- why did you think there was a Bigfoot one? Because I found it on a list of ones that existed. Oh, is this Hulk meets a gorilla? Is no, that? that's a whole different thing. Oh, we're okay. watching that, so let's let's do that. I, I mean, this will make do. Hulk, oh, Hulk fights bad Hulk. That's more like because this is just him meeting him. Look, they're not even getting down and dirty here. I don't think. Yeah, they're, they're just chilling. Look. Oh wait, no, tell a lie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm wrong. Well, this this is the match now. This is we're treating this yeah, yeah, as yeah. this is obviously Sasquatch versus the, <laughs> the Loch Ness monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The part of Loch Ness is being played by the Hulk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Back in like this is the official match now. Yeah. <laughs> it was back. In, it must have been like the seventies. This show. Yeah. yeah. Probably didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but like, uh, there was always this oh sort God. of. Oh dear. I've seen enough of that. That's yeah. That's <laughs> that's. I mean, we we all know who won that fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I can't but to be fair <laughs> to be fair the monkey should have either ripped him apart straight away or Hulk should have ripped him apart when he came back because I'm sure the Hulk's supposed to be stronger than a oh, fucking gorilla yeah you'd, you'd like to fucking think so considering you know he all took the down one done. of those giant worm things in the Avengers with his bare hands yeah that shit was stronger <sighs> than a gorilla uh, it's time to do it put on Uvo Ball I don't know who that is Uvo what Oh, you're on about the... Yeah. Um, okay. What's his name again? UVE. UVE. Space. Space. B-O-H-L. B-O-H-L. I think that's it anyway. Uvbola. Uvbola. No. What? No. Neither? No. 
maybe Google him because then I'll. Yeah, I'll um, just go for. Um, or well, do we even want to watch this one? Because it's just kind of upsetting. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, but it's just kind of lame. <laughs> I mean, they choose a the beat, they don't have to do it. That's true. Um, well, I thought it boxes, was boxes, put boxes. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Boxes. Film critiques. There we go. There we go. Uwe <laughs> Bowl. <laughs> oh, this is going to be some fucking actual video. Oh, thing. yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a video. That's I don't want to see that. Uh, that's the one. It? That's the one. That's good enough, yeah. But go. these are just literally a series of people who, who ripped on his legitimately shitty movies who yeah, he then yeah, invited yeah. to beat the shit out of. He invited them to come and do a boxing match. These are the ones that actually took him up on it. Yeah. He did one by one as well, didn't he, though? This guy is just mentally not well. Yeah, don't get into a boxing ring with an angry German guy who is just not, like you said, not well. Yeah, just genuinely. Look at the guy. What was that then? What the hell is that in the robe? That's the referee. <laughs> That's the referee? Yeah. And what the hell is he wearing boxing gloves? I don't know. He's confused. Oh, actually, I don't know, actually. Yeah. Who about, maybe that's one of the people that's going to face him. Maybe that's a line maybe, of the people. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, that, that might be it. I think there's some more as well. Yeah, there's another one. Four. Yeah, yeah, he's in. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... Yes, he's shit, but he's prolific. He's shit, but he's prolific, you know. You done any boxing before? Never. Never before, never been in a ring. This is such a bad idea for you, man. Jeff Schneider, yeah, he's going to be smushed. I came here for the free trip to Vancouver. This guy's an idiot. You know, does he not know he could turn around now and he still has that free trip? Yeah, yeah. Like he's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of his movies suck. Wow, great film critics here. They really, it, they're really explaining that point so well. Yeah. See, look at the amount of more people here, though, for this than there was for Vanilla Ice. And Todd Bridges. Yeah. This place is packed compared to that. <laughs> oh! Jesus. <laughs> no warning then. He's just get, go. They're not good. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a power behind him, man. He's, he knows what he's doing. Full movie, but I don't really think that I need to have even seen a full movie to judge it. Oh, oh. The only ones that really sucked were uh, House of the Dead, Blood Rain, and Alone in the Dark. Well, his movies. House of the Dead. Yeah, it oh. just makes a lot of like shitty movie ripoffs of computer Oh, so games. it's not the proper. No, it's not a good film. <laughs> well, I know House of the Dead. I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's just a, an arcade game. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, that was yeah. it. It's okay. I'm trying to remember. And a really good one. But yeah, it's just one of those classic ones, isn't it? Yeah, like Time Crisis. What a fucking yeah. Plan. Time Crisis was. Look, that's oh, not Jesus. good. That's not good. I mean, <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I um, mean, they so shouldn't have been. I think I think it goes to, to the old classic line that a smart man once said. <laughs> Shouldn't have been talking shit. Shouldn't have been talking shit. Shouldn't have been talking shit. Yeah, but that guy, is, that guy is, as I say, he's just mentally unwell. Oh, do yeah. Wanna, do you want to see... And now the guy on the floor is as well. Do, do you want to see something that might be a bit more uplifting? Oh, sure. What about... Porno. Justin Trudeau. Who's that? Oh, that's Canadian the Prime Minister. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Why can't our Prime Minister do that? <laughs> Justin Trudeau boxing I'd love to match. have seen, um, I don't know, like... Uh, I don't know who could we see. Both Johnson versus David Cameron. That would be a fight. That'd be a fight. I'd watch that. Or um, <coughs> oh, I know Theresa May versus the reanimated corpse of uh, Margaret Thatcher. That's good. That'd be very that's good. real good. Justin, uh, I can't remember his name. Trudeau. Justin Trudeau. Boxing. Boxing. You know anything about this at all? No. No. Okay. I just know it's there. There it is. Okay, so this is Justin Trudeau versus what Patrick Brazieux. This is before he was Prime Minister, obviously. This it makes is, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, although, to be fair, you think you, you would rather it after because you brain damage, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, then again, actually, Canada, did you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, it's Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty chill, you know. Yeah, no. I mean, this is March 21st, 2012. It must have just been before then. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you think it's um, charity, though. You can get away with anything if you yeah, exactly. charity. You know, you, I mean, people people will fucking let you go with murder yeah. for charity. Live <laughs> sex show. You could do a live sex show. That would be cool. Be all over. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, actually, <laughs> um, we need to go to that. Um, club that I was on a boat, yeah. Um, which is trying to do in the summer, maybe or not actually because it's really busy. But they do like the nights where they have like different things going on on the stage. And the one time it was like a kissing contest type thing on the stage, but everybody got a bit too carried away. And it was like they were willing to just do it, was like a competition. Yeah. And in the end, it was basically who wants to go as far as they who wants to go further. Let's play sex chicken. <laughs> it's, up, it's the kind of place where, like, the workers are all, like, you know, in lingerie and shit. Uh, or, in, yeah. like, doctors, like, mad mad doctor's outfits. Um, and I'll just randomly get up on the bar and dance and shit, yeah. you know. <laughs> I think we got to go there and take girls because I think girls will fall over. Yeah, yeah. He, he won't know how to handle it. You might not, I don't know. I miss it, so I want to go. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. Pound a shot. Nice. Banging. Nice. Yeah, we we need to do that soon anyway. yeah, yeah. You film some stuff and put it on the Instagrams and whatnot. Oh. Weighing in at 183 pounds from the final round boxing club, the Senator Patrick Braz Knuckles Brazo. So I'm guessing he is probably also a. Um, Politician from the science of yeah, it. The yeah. senator, you know. I'm sure he's not a senator. He might be. Might but be. Might be. Might I suppose might be. it would make sense to have two um, politician people, though, fighting. Yeah. Because Justin Trudeau has, naturally had to be a politician at this point. Oh, yeah. Unless your name's Trump, then you can't just jump Ooh. into politics and become a leader. Marshmallow. Yeah, unless your name's Trump, you can't just jump back into the... Um, jump straight to the front of the line, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Or if your name's Biden, you know, you shouldn't be jumping to any line or moving at all, really. No, no, not really. You should be sitting comfortably with your slippers on in a nice chair that rises and reclines. <laughs> <laughs> Get him a pipe as well, you know. Doesn't matter by that yeah. point. If I always make, say, sure, make sure he's got one of those fucking stand and stair lifts in. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Or just give him a bungalow, it's probably safer. Yeah, probably yeah, safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care at all times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've always said this Handles day, everywhere. And what? Handles everywhere, so he yeah, can yeah. steady himself. Handles everywhere, mm-hmm. and um, probably a lot of crash mats as well. Yeah. Because, you know... Just make the whole thing out of Nerf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. whole thing. <laughs> I'm sure they can make some money in taxes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've always said this. I know a few people that would make her, like, you know, their nan or something shouldn't be drinking because she's older and it could hurt her and that. Yeah, yeah. But she dr- keeps drinking a lot. And I'm like, once you get old enough that you're retired and you're just sitting around all the yeah. time, that's when you should be drinking constantly yeah. and smoking constantly. That's all I'm going to do if I make yeah. it to that age. Yeah. If I make it to death, I'm just going to... enjoy yourself. Yeah, man. I get the heroin on the go. Yeah. Am I right yeah, at that point? Is. It's not like I'm going to go and rob a house because I can't when I'm 60. Future leader of the maple world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me all your maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid gold, baby, yeah! <laughs> Let me talk to you! Oh, you know, the day too. <laughs> God, these, these guys are really into it. They are. Four year old daughter! The low blows before it's even started from Levent, but Trudeau walking in. He's got, he's got a determined look on his face. Yeah, he's a true. I've got to say as well, before they said it, I was just thinking, he he's looks, looking, yeah. yeah, he's got the eye, hasn't he? Yeah. He's got the eye of a fighter right there, he's, he's dialed locked in. in. Yeah. Dialed in, as I yeah. say, dialed in. Yeah. He is not worried about the being a showman, he's worried about being a fighter. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, look at him as well. He's, he's got like a tribal tattoo. He's an ex-army though. guy yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah, tribal tattoo. That's like blatantly ex-army guy. Probably just drove a fucking um, truck or something, though. No. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have insult that. In a moment, you'll see the Katimovic symbol, a youth corps that started by his father that's been cutting his latest budget. He's got the symbol for Katimovic drawn onto his... his so he's got the symbol for a youth... 
a youth thing that his dad started on his yeah, own. Yeah, that sounds very um, Nazi youth to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds very yeah. Nazi youth. Bit of iconic kind of time for well, you. Let's, let's skip into some fight. Let's okay. skip into okay. some fight. I like the build up, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Oh, look at that smile. He is not sweating him at all. No. Oh, he's just enjoying getting rubbed, actually, I think. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. He's just really enjoying getting rubbed down. <laughs> Look, he's trying so hard not to get a boner in that moment. <laughs> he is feeling it right there. I think there. you're probably right. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, all right. No, I died in. Little tip for anyone listening out there or yourself as well. If you ever get an unwanted boner and you're like, oh, I need to get rid of this boner, yeah. start really tensing your thighs. Get rid of a boner. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of tensing their legs during sex, and that's what can make it go down, because uh, if you tense your legs here, it's just a thing. It makes your wee-wee go down. Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I not know that. I learned it very late. That is yeah. what you learned, being a slag. Yeah. And getting many erections without wanting them. Yeah. Go to that club, you see what I mean? Just a load of naked rocker goes everywhere. <laughs> Let's t- we, we could tell Matilda we're going to, li- to the library. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got long, she might like it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun place if you like rock music and that. Oh, oh, he's got the oh. ring. Oh, the man in oh. blue is boxing up oh. the future oh. Prime Minister, oh. President. Oh. Sorry. No, Prime Minister, you're right. Prime Minister? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh he's boxing oh, him up. Oh, no. The PM needs to get. This has gone wrong. Oh, yeah, he's not doing well. How's he going to defend the country if he can't defend himself? Trudeau had the reach on him as well, but he's just... Yeah, look at him. <laughs> he cannot stop Little him. Little bops. Oh, he's grabbing him up now. Defensive position. Yeah, no hugging. But I would do it too, because he's... He's how, he's the epitome right now of that, like, initial flurry at the beginning, you know. Jesus. The three rounds. Yeah. Not either, either way, unless yeah, someone gets knocked out. It's not going either way. Yeah, yeah, someone yeah. gets knocked out, he's just pulling him up. So you got two more rounds, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, did oh. you see that? Flail. No, I missed that a bit then. Go back a bit. Here we go. Hey. Oh. oh. Just me. That could have been a hard one if you got him, though. Yeah. Are you going for it still, Mr. Trudeau? He doesn't look quite as fucking relaxed about it now. Yeah, he's not as relaxed about it at all. Oh, like I said, everyone oh, can feel a certain way oh, until they're hit in the face. Oh, oh, oh. And then I haven't got as much of the um, covering as the women's headgear has. Yeah, no. And the mouth and that. No. These are just the faces there. This fucking savage. Yeah, yeah, man. That guy in the blue, he's oh. going for it. But I think he's a bit tired now. Look, he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. rope-a-doped him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think um, Trudeau's going to have a bit more gas in the tank. That nimble... Frame, you know, he's going to have to use less to know. get him Trudeau, his time. Trudeau's not not punching right. He's not giving he, that. Yeah, he needs to punch more as well because yeah. he can keep him away more because he's got that length, like you said, that reach. Yeah. Nah, nah. So, oh dear. Now, so far, if uh, if we're going on points and that's how this works, a good story. Ah, it was it was Ooh. competitive though, like yeah. you know. That blue guy, man, was going for it. He looks stronger and stockier in it. Yeah. But like you said, Trudeau's got the length. If he figures yeah. out how to use it. He could deploy it well, but mm. he's just, he's not. Yeah, he's just not. Look at him, he's happy though. Look, he's smiling away in the corner. Yeah. Got to give him that. It's hard to smile after you get punched in the face a few times. Realistically as well, his punches should be more powerful with Trudeau's because he's going to be punching more down. Yeah. As they say. Not a lot, obviously, but he especially, because he's punching up, so he's going to be weaker. Yeah. Oh, that was close then. Look at him. See, you don't have to punch up. Oh, oh, oh. It's like Uppercuts. In, and like then opened him up and then punched oh. him in the face. He's doing what you boy have to do in comedy, apparently. You only punch up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which apparently you're means... You're only allowed to do that. That's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing that exists. Which signifies that you're better than a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. Or not better than people, whatever. Oh, where's that pony going? Come on. Looking pretty even right now. Although Blue's getting tired again after that initial oh, flurry blue. at the beginning. Oh, Blue. Oh, a good shot there oh. almost by Trudeau. Oh, that was a good dodge, though. Mm, yeah, yeah. They're both doing a little bit better than I would yeah. have necessarily assumed. Look, Trudeau now coming up. Oh, oh look at him. Oh, He's punches in bunches. There we go. Punches in bunches from Trudeau. Oh, he's like, hey, you think I can't defend the country? You want to see what I can do? Yeah. I can attack too. Oh, look at him. He's getting a bit more confident as well, Trudeau now. Yeah. Confidence is building. 
They're coming after him now, he's leading the fight, making Blue Man back up. Rizzo, whatever his name is. Oh, Trudeau has took control of this fight. Backing him up to the ropes constantly, taking the middle constantly, <laughs> punching him constantly, taking the jab, using his length. Oh, now more punches and punches. Blue guy's just stuck in the corner, not doing a thing. Oh, I think they... Oh, he's counting him because... A technical knockdown now, I think. Yeah. In the corner. Nah, he's... he's, he's oh. oh, who was that then? Who punched who in the face? Oh, Trudeau just punched the blue man right in the face to begin with. Right in the fucking face. Right in the, right in the noggin. Right in the nasher. Oh, we oh, grabbed him though. Had a little hug. That shows desperation. Yeah, that it does. does. It does. Oh, end of round two, and Trudeau definitely took that round. Yeah. Hundred percent. Wow, this has changed around a little yeah, bit now. Yeah, this is an interesting one. At the best. Let's get through. Let's get yeah. through. Yeah. At the best, though, they've got um one round each. Yeah. But I wouldn't be overly surprised if Trudeau won the first round because he did do well in the end. Yeah. Wouldn't see he'd calm down, but let's see. Hmm. You want it more about who wins this round, though? Oh, there we go. There we are. Straight Whoa. away. Look at Trudeau, man. He's straight going for it. He's not letting him have the flurry this time. You see the fear in the blue man's eyes as yeah. well. <coughs> Come on, Trudeau. Fight for fight like Canada. -da. Fight like pretend it's hockey. Pretend it's fucking hockey. Pretend somebody stole your maple syrup. Come on, guy. He's not your friend, guy. <laughs> He's not your guy, friend. He's not your buddy, friend. He's not your friend, buddy. Oh, look at these punches and bunches again, though. <laughs> Blue Man having to take a rest in the corner. He's going to bash him so hard that he's going to end up becoming a part of the Blue Man group, I think. Yeah. That's all he's going to have left to do. Oh, went for a punch oh, and miss. Oh, oh, oh Trudeau oh, again oh, in oh, the face. Oh, 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 one, oh. two, one, two, one, two, one after another. It's non-stop. Oh, he's blooded him up yeah. as well. He blooded the blue man up. Oh my god. My bashed his nose. Has oh. he ended it? He's ended it? Yeah. Trudeau. Fair play. I did not expect that. That's fucking crazy. Wow. I kind of wish we lived in Canada now. That was surprising. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That was really surprising. That was good. <laughs> Glad we got to see all of that. Have new respect. That's how you. That's how you win over a fucking country. That is. That fucking is. How could you not vote for him after that? Really? Oh, there's probably people who voted for him just because of that. Yeah, straight up, definitely. You know what I mean, legit. That that's the way some people work, and they would have voted for him for that. Yeah, man. Like, like we're saying, you can. How would you be able to defend a um, a country if you couldn't defend yourself? That's and true. He, he could. Definitely. Um, time for a couple of little um little uh. What do I call them? Honourable mentions. Because uh, okay. these are honourable mentions. These are legit badasses in real life who are also, who also happen to be celebrities, you know? Okay, okay. I said these are badasses, but happen to be celebrities. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like myself. Yeah. Eventually. So, Idris Elba. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. BDE, obviously. You, 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 BDA was uh, Big Dick Energy, bro. Oh, Big Dick Energy! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any footage of this, unfortunately. Oh, Big Dick? No, probably not. No, no. But he, I can't remember what it was. I think it was an MMA fight or a judo fight. One of the two, like a tournament that he won. Oh, right, okay. Legitimately won because he's legitimate badass with um, his BDE. I right? mean, you say this though, but apparently Mark Zuckerberg it doesn't mean anything if he wins a judo fight. No, 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 no. no so no. exactly, no. Because he's got little DE. What? He's got little dick energy. Does yeah. he have little dick energy? We, we agreed Actually, on yeah, that. Actually, yeah, little dick we energy. We agreed on that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not quite limp dick. It doesn't mean he can't do a decent fight. You know, there's or plenty of tiny dick dudes who yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't mean he and can't... And there's plenty of tiny dick dudes who that's why they fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I've known a few people like that, not even professionally. Yeah. They just fight because, like you said, little dick energy. Little dick energy. Yeah, and exactly. they need to prove something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah constantly. Yeah. The funny thing is, all they're proving is that they have little dick energy, little, and thereby little dicks. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Nobody's gonna have little dick energy, but have a big dick. No, exactly. That Why would that happen? That doesn't happen. You know, you might um, you might get big dick energy while still having a little dick. That's possible. That's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can build up the confidence. 
I mean, I definitely am not faking myself through Big Dick Energy at all. No, no. That's no. definitely not what I do. No. No, 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 no. I would never fake my weenie size. Yeah. But I, I am a believer that you should make it out that it's smaller um, than it is. Or not bigger, at least, anyway. Right. When you're talking to a girl. Because you don't want the first feeling she has. To when be she disappointment. Takes disappointment. Yeah, no. Who wants that? No, you want to you wanna sort of lower the standards a bit. Exactly. So like, oh, this is actually quite a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just taking it off, like, oh, I forgot yeah. to wash, I think. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not that. Yeah, maybe not <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. You know, because that's gonna set a, that's gonna set attention. Yeah, yeah. You well, know. if it tastes particularly nice, then it's cool. Like if you've managed to put on some, yeah. I don't know, some strawberry lotion beforehand. Coconut under ma- butter. That's maybe you you're, put on your maybe dick. you're fucking a walnut. You want you want to put coconut no. butter on your dick? That's Co- what you want. Oh no, you don't want that. It depends if they like coconut or not. I suppose. I love to smell like coconut oil. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the times when I banged someone of that ethnicity, yeah. I was like, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Just smiley constantly. Yeah, 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 so yeah. nice. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. weird though when you mix it in with the s- the sex smell. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was kind of strange. It was like a f- fruity sex, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. at all different types, you know. I'm like yeah. a buffet. I like a buffet. Yeah. I'm all about variants. You it's know. like the variety bar of sex in that in that instance, for example. Oh, that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is still alright, you know. Yeah. The bounties are cool, but they're not the ones you want. Bounties are fucking awesome. Oh, see, I'm, I'm actually not a bounty oh, fan. Oh, I love bounties. Oh, well, you must be chuffed then when, like, celebration, um, um, when Christmas now comes around and everybody's yeah. getting, like, celebrations and we're like, yeah. oh, I don't want the bounty. Oh, do you want to take all these bounties? Yeah, I want to fucking take those bounties. There's those always loads of bounties left here. Oh, so I remember that. They're so fucking good, man. Oh, I know. They're so good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I defend a bounty down to the fucking ground. You know what? I, I look at them and I'm like, yo, figure out, decide, pick a lane. Are you a fruit or a nut? No. Decide. No. And no. The delicious thing about a bounty, right, is that you chew the chocolate into the coconut and then you can sit there chewing chocolate coconut for fucking like days <laughs> before the flavour truly disappears. Oh, is it really that hard? To oh, so you can just oh, sit well, there you can chewing. Just chew it like, for days, mm, I think. Yeah, motherfucker. I got delicious food well, in my no, face. No, to be fair. You say that, I couldn't. I'll tell you what's the best thing. I'll tell you what's the best thing. That's true. Yeah. I'll tell you what the best thing is. Bounties, right? Followed by caramels. Oh. That's the that's shit. Disgusting. You eat a bite of fucking bounty, you have a bit of caramel. No, you basically you're having caramel. Bounty, just try and caramel. Try bounty, and like caramel. Forget about the taste. They should, they should make caramel bounties. That's what they should do. Oh. God, they should make disgusting. caramel bounties, mate. I'm cl- I'm cl- I'm calling it now. I I I. would have a caramel bounty every day. I'd best, become uh, a fat bastard. The <laughs> best thing they ever did was bring out caramel uh, whispers. A whisper gold was the best thing since sliced bread. I will say they're pretty good. Uh, but they, you know what's better? Well, mm, mm. White the, chocolate. Unless we're talking about some kind of you know like the good kind of orgy. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna. Be... White chocolate, extra long. Twix. Ah, uh, that I'm not shit. A fan. Oh, I love them. They're you've so. Heard, you've good. heard the left or right? Oh, mate, <laughs> mate. I do what every <laughs> decent person does, and I eat both at the same time. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I melt the ends like I squeeze them and I stick yeah. them together. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. there is no left or yeah. right. This is one. Yeah, I'm all about that middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like the Twixies the same way I like my politics. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle and put right into me. Yes. No, no fuss. Yes. No mess. Yes. Mm-hmm. In a nice... Yeah. No muss, no fuss, no coconuts. Yeah, Doesn't yeah, yeah. like bounties. And no Trump. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Honourable mentions. Uh, that's that's basically it for honourable mentions. There are some other people who are supposedly badasses. I mean, we could talk about Steven Seagal all day long. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah I mean, we've done that, actually. Yeah. A few episodes ago, I believe, at least two or f- probably three episodes from this one, actually, the Steven Seagal, Many Lies. Yeah. And we learned on one of the recent podcasts as well that he finally has his website back from the, um, what was it, the uh, Valium people that, Apparently hacked into his website. Yeah, and he now has it back, yeah. updated for you all. Yeah, hmm? I mean, he was. I mean, we're still partly, we still partly believe that he was like selling them on the side himself, don't we? Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. still a chance well, that's what was happening. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't. There's I, a lot of crossover in the audience. That's all we're saying. I, you know, what I reckon it'd be more than anything, though. Yeah. I reckon more so. It's just he's using them. 
Yeah. And, you know, because he has to use so many each time just to masturbate as well. This is what he's of doing. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, to masturbate each time, yeah. like into a into a fox or something that he found on the side yeah. of the road. He dealt yeah. with the microwave. Yeah. Um, he, he doesn't want it cold. I oh know, exactly. Obviously. <laughs> uh, but you have to make sure you got the right temperature because you don't want like a hot pocket in there. No. Oh, no, 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 Ooh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to be careful how much cheese no, you put in No, no hot fox. Oof. No, 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 no. no. But um, I think he's just buying too much Viagra and using too much Viagra on Nash. Yes. And he got into a position where he's like, shit, I owe these guys money. And mm-hmm. all he could do was give them the website for a bit. He gave him his domain for a bit. Like, you, got, you give us access to websites so we sell Russian version of Viagra to mm-hmm. everyone. Or then, take your kneecaps. Uh, and, then, and only then will you become Russian citizen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, first he's got to you know, get him the money back. He said, then he's got to uh, try and build that yeah, up. He said... One at a time. Mr. Putin, you will not regret this decision to allow me to get my Russian citizenship back by selling dick pills. My fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my fucking move. <laughs> I love his um his language that he's developed. Yeah. Steven Seagalish. Yeah. It's amazing. There's a, there's a bit. Arnie's too. Arnie's <laughs> There's a bit that Tom Segura does about it, I think, where where he talks about like he talks to different races as different races. <laughs> He's like, if you're a white person, like, hey man, how's it going? You having a good time? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's a black guy, he's like, hey player, how's it going? Are these ain't about how you people? What you doing now? Here? People, Stepping oh, you mean Steven Seagal? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. If he's playing a different, and then okay. if it's a, no, this is literally while he's doing like his police show. To normal people. Oh, this is what he's doing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Showing how he talks. Yeah, to yeah. Different and then people. and then he goes yeah. to like Mexican guys, and it's hey, Jolo, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not sure though. You could argue either. Uh, you know, yeah. because some people say the colour doesn't exist. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But he. You shouldn't notice. But it he's at all. definitely noticing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then at the same time, would it be rude for me to say go up to somebody like I did recently, for example, yeah. like the shop guy, and be like Eid Mubarak? Because I'm assuming. No, that's, I don't know. But it's the same concept, you know. Yeah. It's just, I mean, oh, yes, the verbiage we're using afterwards is that one's like, well, they're both okay. Yeah. But one's for Steven Seagal, so it's hard to assume he means anything nicely. Yeah, because it's Steven Seagal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, oh, well, we love Steven Seagal. We will always love him. Do you want to see something? <laughs> we will always be there for him. If you're listening to this, Stephen, don't worry. You've got a friend in me. Yeah. You've got a friend, friend in, in me. me. When I see... Tw- well, how, how, how's that guy's voice go again? You, you got a friend in me. Oh, you. You got a friend in me. You sound like you're having a stroke. When is trouble. I'm behind you, miles and miles of you, that's one bit. You sound like you're going for speech therapy. <laughs> Do you just remember what your old pal said? Do you remember anything? I said, you got a friend in me. Can somebody get his camera? <laughs> <laughs> So um, do you want to see uh, one that's kind of depressing before we finish on some high notes? One what? Andy Kaufman wrestling oh. women. Oh, I've seen <laughs> it many times. Yeah, of course. This is a whole thing, though. This is a whole thing of his. I mean, realistically, his, his bit. realistically, this is probably should be a whole episode going through the whole um, Andy Kaufman verse. The Andy Kaufman verse, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to like focus on this um, wrestling match because I think yeah. I bet you don't even know most of the stuff that went into it. No, no, I, I know, I know, the, I know why he did it. It was like, uh, it was like this weird challenge that he did in each one of his shows and it was a bit of a stunt thing but he takes it weirdly serious. Yeah, no, it's a serious thing. Like yeah. He, he, yeah. Ne- he never, you know, as far as... Because he wanted to be the world's greatest woman wrestler. Yeah, he wanted to be the intergender champion yeah. and he did in the end yeah. he made the intergender title. <laughs> but, and this was at a time, that, you know, when men were supposed to be men in the wrestling world yeah. to the point that he goes on like, um, he goes on were one of the talk shows, Larry King, I think it is. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, with uh, Jared King Lawler. Yeah. Now, you probably don't know who Jared King Lawler was, but back then, he was the man. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he was, like, bigger than Elvis in Memphis. Oh, shit. Legitimately, yeah. like, it was a huge thing. Yeah. Um, and he beat, he slapped him across the face in the middle of this talk show. Like, on um, one of the big night, you know, tonight shows and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which one was it? The one that now has a big beard. That guy. Um... With a T, I think it is. Who was his name? What was his name? Ah, 
which is David. Is David Letterman? Oh Might yeah, be David Let- Letterman. Letterman. Yeah, Letterman. Him. He was on there. You slapped him across the face. And then they had a match eventually where he broke his neck. Oh shit! That's why he was in the um, neck yeah. brace for ages after. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah, we'll have to go into that properly. Yeah, yeah. Andy Kaufman then. Andy Kaufman. Oh, you want to see that Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We need to, we need to shoot. We need to see this. We'll, we'll, we'll tease it then. Yeah. And then we'll see it more. Oh god, he is such a funny guy. I do like Andy Kaufman. I mean, it's a very unique form of comedy. Oh, wait, we'll do. It. Yeah, I love his. Ex- I love experiment to comedy in general. Yeah. Just the fact of being willing to go and do it, you know. Yeah. Um, wrestling, you see, this comes up straight away. It's women. Oh, I see. Yeah, did you see him fighting Jared King Lord? Wrestling in the end? for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please don't go away. Don't touch that dial because because I'm coming right back with some very special friends. Oh, so I never realised this was uh, must have been like part of his show then. Yeah. Because it's coming up next. The rest of some women. Well, you know, at the top of the show, I told you Andy was going to wrestle some women. The fuck well, he has, in fact, wrestled more than 130 women. And tonight we thought we'd take a closer look as to why and how he does it. 130. Surely they've conflated that, I think. Him getting taken down by a lady here. You just use it. Li- Obviously, we all know wrestling. You know, uh, it's not totally real professional wrestling. But this was all of this was a shoot, as yeah. they call it in wrestling. This was all real. Yeah. And I remember the one story about the one he struggled with because she was big, but he he, he got it still. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This shows here why this why here is the epitome of when you try and say that like you know it'd be fine for like um. A Trans, a trans woman to go into women's um, sport, uh, but this shows that even Andy Kaufman can just own every woman. You know what I mean? Essentially, yeah. So you want to tell me there's no difference? I don't see how. Look at Andy Kaufman just playing with the ladies, as he just said. Contest. It could get very, very exciting, and it turned out to be like one of the highlights, one of the most exciting parts of the concert. But it's I couldn't the thing well is, it's weird, the but there is nothing sexual right about away. it. I, even, I mean, like, genuinely. Oh, no, there's nothing sexual at all. Like, genuinely. Like, it, yeah. that's the thing that you might be worried about when thinking, but it just doesn't... Oh, yeah. That's not what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> no, I never thought about it like that at all, but yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, if yeah, anybody yeah. has that yeah. feeling, no, not that at all. This is just his kind of shit that he's doing, and he's, he's a big wrestling fan. Yeah. Like... This is not um, a skit, okay? This is real. I am here to wrestle a woman, okay? I am here to wrestle up to three or four women, maybe. I'm not here just to, uh, just three women who just come out of the audience. I want a lot of competition here. What, is everybody, is everybody afraid? Are you even afraid? Huh? Let me tell you something. Just show me. Why do you want this? Now, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I think the, the, the she she was up for it. she was there, man. She was she was angry. Yeah. She was gonna give him a what for. Okay, enough of that. Yeah. The, anyway, that's that's what that is. <laughs> that's yeah. what that is. See this is the here, look, this might be what you should watch at some yeah. point, like just this would probably be enough. Yeah. It's very cool. Kaufman Je- um Andy Kaufman and Jerry the King Lawler. Yeah. Their feud. Watch it. Watch the clip on Vice. It's there now. Vice yeah. know where it's at sometimes. Vice do know where that. Or apparently they're closing down the way I've heard. Okay. Shall I give you... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 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 Shall I give you down. one of two options or shall I just pick one? Oh, you got more? I've got two more. Oh, okay. I don't mess up to you. Uh, give me the second one. Is okay. that what you asked? Shaq versus Oscar De La Hoya. Okay, so <laughs> Shaq, god damn, yeah. Shaq should be able to just destroy anyone. Uh, what's the name? Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar. There you go. De La Hoya. There you go. Highlights. Hopefully yeah. that means there's enough of it. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. There you go. Oh, god, is this? Oh, no, no. There we go. 
Oh my goodness. There's a lot of people though. You would not, I would tail. never, He's ever, heavier. ever in a million years want to step into a fucking box and chat. Are you fucking kidding? Like what we were saying before about, I'm you know, like, if you're I'm punching your... Head, I'm gonna hold it. And you ain't gonna be doing shit. <laughs> Five rounds, four two minute rounds, and then one minute the last round. That's interesting. And Sandy's not making a bit different, you know. So it can be a bit more of a fight, so it's not just at the end, you know, they're just yeah. falling over each other, like, just dead. People don't realise, man, how tiring fighting is. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Look at the fucking size of him! Wow. It's yeah. like fighting a giant. It's not like fighting a giant. He is fighting yeah. a giant. Legitimately. You know, He's I've been, five ten. Yeah, I've been learning about some of the um, history. Mother of God. I've been learning about history around giants and stuff lately. You know, there's some interesting stuff there. Yeah. There have been legitimately skeletons found in that. Yeah. Of like from, uh, was it seven to ten foot people? Seven foot isn't particularly. That's not. But a, ten's pretty fucking big. Ten's like a yeah. legit giant. But it's not ridiculous giants like you think when you hear it, you know. And we have plenty of people. With, I mean, look at Shaq. You can see that these people are possible. Yeah. And here we go. You can't get close to Shaq. You can't even no, get you close really to him. Look at you? it. Jesus Christ. Oh, he started it now. Oh, he started Jesus it now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's just swatting him like a fly. <laughs> oh shit. You started it now, man. The thing is, it looks like he might be doing what a lot of the big guys do, though. They just hardly him, put yeah. any effort into the punches because they're so confident in how strong they are. Oh, look at them. He's got some movement there. Yeah. This is when he could move still. This is. Okay. That's the problem. you got. A man that can He's just covering himself so well. Yeah, as well. yeah, that's the thing. He's got great defense there. Which in fact he puts his arms up and they're like fucking cedar woods, aren't they? Yeah. This is this is a legit fight from Game of Thrones. This yeah, is yeah, <laughs> yeah. This really is. This is the inspiration for the mountain yeah, right here. Yeah. This is the mountain versus anyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who is it he faced? T Tyrell? Is that his name? Uh, we've got to that yet. Where I he faced Steve. Got to that bit yet. Um no, I don't, I'm not sure where you are at the moment. Yeah, yeah. When Tyrion, um, Tyrion has the guy as his um, champion. Not the initial one. Oh, yeah, no, I have seen that. Um, Tyrell, is that? Yeah, no, yeah. not Tyrell, is it? No, it's... Um, I know who you mean, the yeah, guy who's playing... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good old Pedro Pascal. That's the yeah. one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that character as well. It's a shame that he got smushed. Mm. Great shot, though. I knew he wasn't going to last long, though. Yeah, you knew, and it, when he, he was just winning, he was doing too well. Yeah. You just knew he wasn't going to go well. The Mountain is somebody, you know, they never really at all, like, open up as a character. You never yeah. learn He's just anything this about nasty him. nasty fucker. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's, let's skip through, yeah. Okay. This is round two. Shaq still looks pretty good. He's not looking too tight. He's thrown a bit he's more. He's played basketball for years. Yeah, yeah, but then he... Oh, low he, blow. He famously said after that, he's like, I'm done training now. Like, I'm not now. Oh, look at him now. He looks good right now. Oh, he's bending over. I don't know why he's bending over. Mm -hmm. Protecting himself a bit, I guess. The only thing about being big as well, though, the, your weak spots are bigger. Yeah. You know, like a good shot at the kidney is still going to hurt him. And his kidney's bigger, arguably. Oh, look at him just pounding away. Oh, but one shot to freaking from Shaq, man. Made yeah. him curl up oh, a bit there. Oh, he just pushes him. Yeah, he just launches. <laughs> it's a little push, to be fair, but because it was Shaq doing it, he's like he launched him a bit yeah. into the ropes. you got to be so brave oh. to get into a fucking ring with Shaq. Yeah, to be fair. I don't know who this fellow is, but he is a brave I respect guy. respect Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, Oscar De La Hoya. Great name, too. Oscar sounds like a boring name until you put like some Spanish stuff af after it, and then it sounds cool. Fair play. Oh, he's getting tired a bit, though, I think, yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Was his mouth open, or was that just the... No, his mouth is uh, okay. the guard as well. But oh, yeah. yeah. That's how you can normally tell when their mouth even. 
Oh, look, he looks a bit. No, he looks alright though, you know, not too bad. Okay. This is a good fight. Yeah. It's a good thing about when you have like two celebrities fighting each other though. They're both equally not good at boxing yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah. We once did, um, when we was at, um, when I was in media in college, at Solio College, we decided up our own little charity boxing match. Yeah, yeah. Between one of the Finn dudes who did boxing um, in the group. Because for some reason, that, in that um, that group, that lesson, sorry, we were all, the whole like class was one group of mates in the end. Yeah. Um, but you had him. What's it got louder? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, we had him versus um, my mate Dave, who was facing him as another thin guy. And we taught Dave like street fighting. And he bopped him a few good times, but he still got beaten in the end. Yeah. It was just randomly out in the, in the field, that was. My God. Still going for it. Shaq's just not defending as well now, though. Oh, the end of round three, I think. Oh! Nice combo by Shaq there, though, to finish out that round. All right, let's skip right to number four, I think. Round four. Oh, what was that in? A nice little show respect at the beginning. Oh, a shot straight oh. to the face. Shaq was punched in the face by the Oscar. Okay. Oh, 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 in the gut. These both have punches in bunches. Look at Shaq, man. The quick hands. Yeah. Quick hands for oh. a big man. And he's getting contact Whoa. where he wants it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And he's even weaving away as well. Yeah, hey, good at the celebrity boxing stuff. It's a shame he couldn't box in real life because, you know, nobody would be his... He'd have to create his own weight class, probably. Yeah. Just one dumpy-ass Russian, you know? <laughs> Oh, he almost got a good shot then, but I think it was just out of reach. Just clipped him. Oh, that would have been m massive, that uppercut. Oh, oh. Any one of those shots could just take you out, man. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He, he's looking for a knockout oh, shot. Fuck. Oh, he's looking for a knockout shot, Shaq is. You're going to slam dunk his ass. Oh, that got him a bit then. He's like, no, no, no. They're telling him, no, that ain't going to work. Oh. Oh, he almost got him with that one. Yeah. Oh, oh, in the gut. Got him in the corner. End of round four, last round. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a fight, mate. This is. This last round now was only a minute, though, remember? Yeah. So they're going to be going for it for the whole minute. Yeah. Come on, let's see this then. I think Shaq's going to go for it. There we go. But Shaq looks a bit tired though. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That was a combo from Oscar. Oh, now Shaq's doing it. Oh, oh. The thing is, like you said, though, when you punch Shaq, you have to go so far back because yeah. he punches his arms are so long. He doesn't even need to defend that much because he can't reach him. Jesus. Oh, wow. Shaq's just going for it still. 20 seconds. What? <laughs> no. He's punching the other guy's coach. <laughs> oh, oh, oosh, oosh. Trying to chop him down, but it's not working. Trying to chop the redwood down. It's not working. And Shaq's just standing tall. Last few punches. Oh, he's jumping uh. off. Oh, the coach has jumped on Shaq. Uh. He's beating Shaq down. Shaq has gone on the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now Shaq's coach is coming in. Oh, shit. Oh, this it's a fight. Real. Oh, it's a smiling fight. <laughs> <laughs> they were all smiling, though. <laughs> <laughs> they were loving it. <laughs> that was banging. <laughs> oh, I love it. Who do you think won? Think Oscar won? Or Shaq? Wow! Holy shit! Oscar! Holy shit! No wonder we haven't heard about this before, because Shaq wouldn't stop talking yeah, about yeah, it if he yeah, won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a shame, man. Shaq should have done another one. 
<laughs> that was terrible by the time. I got my ass kicked <laughs> out <laughs> by a five foot ten man. <laughs> oh, that that's younger Shaka though. That was fucking <laughs> mad, bro. That was, yeah, let's get this guy. Look, at, look at this guy's video. Yeah. <laughs> His whole video, he's got like five seconds at the beginning, another five seconds at the end. Yeah. That's him warranting putting the video yeah. on <laughs> somebody else's voice. Can't we're at lie. least doing like commentary and shit. We're, you know, we're elevating this stuff. Oh, look at this though. You really, I bet you ain't seen this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shaq was in wrestling. You know what? I don't think he actually had a point though. Oh. Oh my god! Holy shit. I'm pretty sure this fight never actually happened though. They teased it for years and years after. Yeah. But nothing ever came from it. But then he did appear in um, AEW. Oh, right. And got put through a table and then uh, teleported out of a ambulance. Because <laughs> that's AEW for you. Oh, he's grabbing him by the throat, cool. Shaq don't like it. Oh, oh, slap back. <laughs> 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 what the heck is happening? They're both grabbing each other on the throat. Hey. <laughs> Punch him, Shaq. Oh, God, that actually looked powerful then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I big show weren't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That, that's oh, real shit. fighting for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, that's the real that's shit. That's the real... Do you want to see the last one? Go on, then. This one might surprise you. Go on. Ricky Gervais versus Grant Bovey. Wow, Ricky Gervais did it. Yeah. Versus what? I mean... Grant Bovey. Grant, uh, Grant should be enough. <laughs> Graham Norton. <laughs> there you go. Because your base versus Graham Norton, that'd be amazing. Here we fucking go. Oh wow, well, okay. Wow. So because your base in oh, red, I'm guessing. Oh, well, max this, bro. Come on, max this shit. They both got a lot more energy. Well, I don't know who the other guy is, but max Ricky up this shit, bro. Oh, because your base got a lot more energy straight away. I'm guessing yeah. he's in red. I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah. I think he's not. I don't think he's that tall. So. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah it looks more his body. Well, as if. I'm mean, just already surprising me. Yeah, is it, yeah, 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 yeah. These are two people who don't want to get hit in the face. Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking going for it, hoping to knock a mask straight away. Fucking hell. Ricky Gervais, man. I was not expecting this energy from him. Oh. Got his helmet there, bro. Yeah, yeah, he must have bopped him a bit because he knocked his helmet away. Maybe because your face has just got the wrong kind of face shape for it. Who knows? Mm. There's probably many things about Ricky Gervais' body, which is why he shouldn't be boxing. Yeah. And the other guy, look, once again, don't know who that is. Maybe Ricky Gervais smashed him into the ground. That's why we don't know him. I'm guessing a ripped comment wasn't about your wife. No. I think they're going to have an issue with that helmet from the look of it. Yeah. Oh, it's gone again. Oh. Rick, th you know what, man? The energy from Ricky Gervais really surprised me there. Yeah, yeah. I did not expect that. I mean, this is obviously quite old, but... There's no control. Oh, no. None. No, neither of them have done any them. training. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've gone to the boxing ring once. That's about it. Look at it. <laughs> Zero technique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, I saw him trying to like, hold his head while he punched him. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely not boxing. No. <laughs> He's like, Ugh, take it. All right, let's get to the next round. Got the ring ladies there. No one's cheering for the ring ladies in nah, comparison. Nah, 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 they nah. don't they get it. They're all there to see Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Get that body out, baby. Fair play to them as well, not wearing vests like a lot of them do. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ricky Gervais' thing says Balboa on it. <laughs> oh, that was a... Oh, oh, that was a fucking chonker. Pushed him more than anything, though. Oh, yeah. Because he used strength against him, didn't he? Oh, shit. Martin, Martin Freeman. Freeman. <laughs> I saw Jonathan Ross as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's probably a lot of other people we don't recognise because we're not old. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> fucked his old head. Not, I think he almost knocked himself on his ass. Ricky Gervais getting some back on him there. Ricky Balboa. There we go. There we go. Martin Freeman and John Ross sitting together. <laughs> Didn't know they were good chums. No. Good, good chums, no. I've heard. No. I would love to have the hair like Jonathan Ross. He has a good head of hair. Yeah, yeah. Very good head of hair. Yeah, he pays a lot for it. So. Probably does. <laughs> Probably does. he got a very random style. I don't know if you've ever seen him on anything other than his uh, late show. No. He's got a weird style. Mm. It varies over the top. Remember, like, Eddie Murphy in Delirious? Oh, yeah. That's more his style. <laughs> Oversized, though. Oh, Balboa. Ricky Balboa is still in this. Going for it. Oh, he's oh, got a oh, oh, bit oh, of a stronger oh, swing, oh, I think, oh. though. Yeah, he's <laughs> got some power behind him still. He may not be as defined as the other man, but there's some power behind those swings still. I think he's running out of energy, though. He is definitely running out of energy. 100%. There was hardly any of that fight uh, that round, apparently. Yeah. Okay. So um, I, I like that. Some respect at the beginning of the round there, touching gloves. Oh. No. Oh, oh, they're both punching in bunches. Well, <laughs> trying. They're both. Uh, oh, I don't know what. Is that punching? I'm not sure. Is that punching? Do we I think? It's more like a slap fight. <laughs> it is more like a slap fight. You know you're doing it wrong when you're using the palm of your glove. Yeah. <coughs> Turning into more of a UFC. They're trying to grab on them constantly now. I think they're just trying to hold each other up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they are getting a little bit tired. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Punches. Yeah. Definitely slowing down a bit. Yeah. Mouth open. Wide open. The other guy not so much though actually. But uh, his muscles still seem to be dying on him, though. Oh, look, they're just standing there and punching each other now. Oh, Ricky Balboa got him on the chin then. Shit. And grabbing each other up again. Oh, Ricky's busted. Yeah. Got a busted nose. Will they stop it? Oh, he's got a busted nose, too. They're both bleeding. This Jesus. is turning into a war. And they're going at it still. Oh, right on the chin. Oh. Punch after punch both ways. This has become... This is a war. This fucking roof. Oh, my God. They're just falling into each other, still oh. swinging. Oh, what a good little one by Ricky, then. I think that's the end. That must fucking be the end. Jesus. I hope it's the end. Yeah. Oh, my God. That got serious. Wow, they were going for it. There were two proud men in there. Yeah. Ricky Balboa. Gervais. Ricky Balboa. Oh, I, I hope he won. We need to see. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Oh. This is the best one to end on. Could go either way. Fight. Gervais 28. Bowie 29. Oh. Twenty-nine for Gervais, twenty-eight for Bowie. Not going to get that though. Split decision. It's going to be like this again. It's going to be twenty-nine, twenty-eight to someone. His score is twenty-nine, twenty-eight in favour of Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Ricky Balboa for the win, baby. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. What about that? That was definitely the best one of the more. Probably. What about that? Mm-hmm. Well, there we go. There were some good little charity boxing matches I'm, there. I'm quite happy with the way that one uh, that one worked out. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, look at that. Why? That doesn't surprise me, look. Um, the hardest thing he's ever done. Yeah, Ricky Gervais. I'm yeah. not surprised at all. Yeah, <laughs> that's not easy shit. He must put some energy into that, man. I mean, how long ago was that? I know it's five years ago in there, but obviously wasn't. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know what year it was. Probably wouldn't be that hard to find out, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. What made you think of these, then? Honestly, it's just... I've I've just been thinking about the... the um, 
Elon Musk, M- Mark Zuckerberg thing the entire time. And I've just been thinking, you know, how, how ridiculous do these get? And we, as we've seen now, they get pretty fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, <laughs> there's some weird shit going on out there. I don't think that that's going to end up happening, though, the um, thing you No, know. no, probably not. But we've had a good time with these anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. 2002. Um, he had that match. Yeah. 2002. Jesus. Now, I'm thinking for mine, um, I might leave my topic for next time because That's we've fair. already gone a bit. Yeah. So we can just we chat We can just have a little fucking now. chill. Yeah, exactly. So, mate, some of those were fucking ruthless. Yeah. You like, legitimately s- unpleasant to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say too many of them were that, like, bad. Like, no, that no, one what was the, the worst critic. one? What was the worst one? Which were, oh, yeah, I, I know you didn't Bowl like the film is the worst. One, I hate yeah. Uvi Bowl. But, um, um, Justin Trudeau's fight, though. That was that, that impressed was me. fucking impressive, bro. The thing is, for anyone, that was an actual fight. Mm, for anyone who is only listening to this and not watching it, like, yeah. um, if you're watching it, you're going to see the videos properly because yeah. you have. I'm glad we recorded it now because yeah, yeah. that will work well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you didn't like, just go onto Google for anyone just listening, and maybe just if you're gonna, not going to watch any of them, just watch little bits of them. Yeah. But like, if, if you're going to pick of them, one, yeah, then I would say pick the Trudeau one. That's Justin so, Trudeau. Yeah, it's so impressive. Yeah, it's going to win a story, man, yeah. as well, because he was like, you could see he was less confident at the beginning when he first got rocked a few times. But you see, you know, I noticed that in a lot of these. I noticed that the the with the celebrity boxing matches, the minute they actually get into a proper fight where it's a, it's not sparring, yeah. it's an actual fight. Yeah. That's when they suddenly start learning how to do it, and you can see by like the third, the third fucking yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. round. Sometimes they start to understand what it is that's happening, yeah. and you start to see some like shucking and jiving, yeah, yeah. an actual fighting. It's like they always say. I think like if I was ever going to be forced to do one of these, I would make them do, make me do an actual fight Both, against yeah. someone before I did. I think a lot of them do. Like that's yeah. a lot of what sparring is. Like you say, it sounds like sparring, but a lot of sparring, sparring is actually mm, just having the fight. Yeah, well, not necessarily because like no, I'm having saying, an actual. Yeah, I'm saying when they, when they say sometimes they're sparring, sometimes yeah. they mean they're just having a fight. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. actually like do go for yeah. broke and knock each other out. You know, um, like you, you got to do it with enough time ahead that you can then sort of recover, recover, yeah, and yeah, get yeah, into yeah. the next one whilst also training. Like you know, it's uh, it's really not surprising though the boxers get um proper brain damage though oh, because yeah. it's not so much about like getting hit in the head and that because that's UFC you don't have that much of an issue yeah. with um so much as boxing it's more the issue with well, boxing it's cause, yeah, it's you get up cushion, and you also get the cushiony gloves yeah yeah so they hit which harder which means they too. really hit hard and the yeah, brain yeah. doesn't have any fucking you know gloves on the brain's mm-hmm. still just sloshing yeah. around inside the skull in exactly the same way mm-hmm. it would if you hit it with anything else it's surprising that there hasn't been more like um Stuff go on with boxers, you know, like going crazy and that. You've seen it a lot, yeah. well, quite a few times from American football and wrestling, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. I know there's been quite a few American football ones. I think with wrestling, it's because they do such a direct version of getting their anger out. It probably never sort of occurs to them. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to wait for my next fight to fuck someone up. I don't need to. <laughs> well, I mean, in wrestling, it happens more because, like, they get dropped. You used to get hit on the back of the head and stuff and yeah, dropped on the head. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And wrestle after a concussion and yeah. that. And they don't do that now. They're very stri- no, yeah. stringent. About what yeah, they do good. with their head. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking surprise. It is good. It? Tell you who wasn't stringent and should have been. Mm. Mm. Russia and America a little bit more. Mm. But especially more than anything, a basketballer that got arrested in Russia. Ah. And then remember that Brittany Gardner lady? The basketballer in America who went to Russia, got arrested over there because she took over some um, THC oil, some bud oil. Right. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. Ah, she got. Uh, it must have been good for years ago now. Uh, she got arrested and stuff, mm. and they held her for a bit, and then eventually they agreed to make a trade for her. And you probably remember when I said who they traded for her. Um, the Russians wanted. Oh the no, I remember. Lord of War. Yeah. yeah. Brittany Grenier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for so the Lord of War is for anyone who doesn't know. If you've seen a Nicolas Cage film, Lord of War, yeah, where he goes into different countries. That's literally that, have, that guy. <laughs> yeah, he goes into countries that have had wars, like all your different Middle um, Eastern European and the yeah. Middle East and all them. Um, and then just sells takes all the guns, guns and sells them on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the thing that's different about him in real life is he wasn't Nicolas Cage, no. who was American, I think, in that film. Yeah, he actually was Russian. Yeah, and they've released him back to Russia now. Yeah, and they did it a while ago, 
And the reason I bring him up is because currently he is running as a far right politician in Russia. Oh, fucking great. <laughs> the Lord of War, oh, far God. right politician in yeah, Russia. Yeah. Which one is right again? Oh, that's far that, right. Yeah, that's like. Um, are they your, you know, um, we are vegans or are they your. No, we no, hate gays. We hate gays. Okay, hardcore, they're we not. hate gays. Okay, yeah. okay. There's two sides. You've got the sides that are really into, like, you know, uh, the veganism and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the real thing when they're that's really into it. That's it. And I don't yeah. know why that's the divide so hard, but it is. You don't get very many fucking conservative vegans. You don't get very many Republican vegans. You get a yeah. lot of Democrat vegans. You get a lot of fucking Labour vegans. You know? Yeah, are they them? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you don't really. You don't really see a sort of. A cross pollination. Yeah, so yeah, to that's speak. a good bit of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, man? It annoys me. I, I used to think when I was younger, like vegetarians are just dumb. Yeah. Because they, a lot of them would eat like fish or chicken or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. or eggs. You know, and I'm like, what, what are you doing? This comes from chick. Um, and this is animals, and these yeah. still come from animals. Yeah. Like the half arsonist. Yeah. So vegans, I was like, they're at least you know doing it properly. Yeah. But then, like, it, it goes from me thinking at least you're doing it properly. To ignoring, you know, like how annoying they are when yeah. they talk about it, just looking at what they eat. Yeah. At least they do it properly. But then I don't understand why half of their food is made to look like the meat that they think yeah. is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. The flesh of an animal, an innocent animal's flesh, and you're making yeah. all your food look like it. Have you and more than anything, more yeah. importantly, and worse than that, taste like it. Have you had one of the fucking um the yeah, the, the, the vegan like burgers? Yeah, yeah, the like like plant. The, the better so. ones taste like meat. The, yeah, but the thing is, they the vegan chicken wings. Yeah, and they on a bone. But the thing is, they don't taste like good meat even. No, of course not. They taste like corned beef. That's what they taste yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them taste you know? okay, Some which is fine. I don't, I don't, I quite like corned beef, but I'm yeah, not going to yeah, go yeah, out yeah. of my way to spend that much money to have something that tastes like it came out of a tin. You know, well, it's like <laughs> that's vegan food for you. Yeah, exactly, a lot of it does yeah. taste like it came out yeah. of a tin. Is that all you need to taste from all the veg? And also the fucking the chicken bits. Have you ever tried chicken? They're always I've rubbery. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're rubbery and chewy in a way that chicken just isn't. Yeah, it depends which ones you get. You can get different. There are some. There really are some good, good ones. ones. There are some good ones. I'm you not going to lie. You pay a ridiculous amount for. Yeah. And you don't get that much either. Yeah. Like you go to like a really nice like uh, vegan restaurant. Yeah. Which sadly exists. Yeah. Which is okay, to be fair. I prefer that because then they can just fuck off to their own. Yeah, they can go do their own shit. So I'm not I'm not yeah. for segregation, but for vegans I am. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm all for I don't want like you judging my my yeah. ch- my food choices, yeah, choices yeah, on yeah. the table next to me. I'm absolutely fine you know? with all races. I went with the quinoa and mm. just saying it really loudly, just so loud enough while I'm eating my yeah. ribs that I can hear it. Yeah, I'd want to. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna really eat those ri- Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. eat those ribs real succulent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make sure it. I get every bit of them ribs off. I'm gonna do it underneath like a yeah. a, a strong metal fan as well. So every time it goes down, it bounces on yeah. the fan. The metal bits particularly yeah. bounce it up. So yeah. and uh, you know they're gonna get some rib juice on them. And then and then and they won't care. All you know, all they'll do yeah. is they were like, oh no, I really want to go to the vegan place now and get um some fake ribs yeah. that taste <laughs> just like real ribs and feel just like real flesh yeah. and look like it too because yeah. I care about animals that you can't yeah. eat <laughs> yeah, yeah. do you want to know something amazing about vegans though what? Um, you know how they love their avocado on toast yeah. um, well basically for for, to, for them to get that um, part of the process basically involves killing billions of bees <laughs> every year and when you see Piers Morgan like <laughs> debating a vegan about this <laughs> and he got the vegan to say we uh, basically say we don't care about the little guys yeah, so what yeah. you don't care so yeah. it's only the size that matters to you yeah. size really matters Jesus to them Christ. which probably makes a lot of sense because going back full circle they probably dick all got energy. limp dick energy yeah, limp dick energy limp yeah. dick energy yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a little dick some of them, sure. Yeah, but definitely not enough meat in their veins to get oh, them no. going properly. That's why they got limp dick yeah. energy. Yeah, a lot of them yeah. are little dicks, but now they're limp. Yeah. yeah. They're so angry all the time as well. Yeah. Be- angry about other people's food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Angry about other people's food. Well, yeah, That's the, the weirdest time. thing. It's like it's like the religion of foods. Mm-hmm. That is well, the no. only th- it's yeah. the only type of diet that literally tells you that other people can't eat what you eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't eat other than what you eat, rather, I should say. Le- it's literally, it's it's like, it's like extremist dietary conditions, <laughs> you know? It's like it's leftist, fucking ridiculous. It's like a leftist religion, almost. Yeah. It's like appearing. Yeah. So there's things you can and can't eat, because yeah. anything that comes from an animal you can't yeah. eat. 
Um, you certain things you have to believe and not believe. You know, there's there's people who go further and they say that you can't even eat a living plant, and they only oh, eat yeah. stuff that's like foraged and dying and falling off trees and shit like that. Yeah, fruitarian, yeah. I think. It's yeah, yeah. You won't take it's it like, off or anything. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're scavenge. You're that's scavenger, basically. Yeah, and do yeah. you know? Can you imagine how bad that must be for your body? Oh yeah, you would hardly get anything because well, you're literally just gonna scavenge. It's like being fruit. a scavenger. That's that it. Only goes fruit and fruit. nuts. That's it. That's and, all yeah. you. You've got you could find and like the occasional a frond. You could be starving and find a tree of like bananas and stuff. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. Actually. Yeah, but tree. No, but they do. Saying. They do. Yeah, but not. Yeah. Out they're not about. out and about near yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're off in some like fucking yeah. guarded compound somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, like an apple tree, whatever. Yeah, they could find like they could be starving. And they could find like a tree with loads of loads of apples, nice like succulent apples yeah. in there, all worms. They can't touch them. Yeah, they can't touch them. Not fallen. No, 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 no. So you I, you just have to starve. Per- <laughs> personally, I think that's more rude for you to do. They 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 want to be picked. Yeah. You know they're there to be picked. Yeah, throw the seeds far yeah. away. That's all they want it. Yeah, yeah. They they yeah. just want some seeds out there. Yeah, by not picking that seed, you're actually probably making it a lot more likely than yeah. that. Fruit is going to die out. Yeah. It's not spreading out. Yeah. It can't just keep falling in the same place. No, because it's, it's gonna just going to com- have competition against itself, and that's yeah. not helpful. And eventually, yeah. there'll be a. Um, if you only have it in one place, and you're just waiting for one forest fire, mm. just one, and it's all gone. Yeah. Like that one place that's got um, the few. Um, like wild horses left yeah. and I'm going to figure out where and once I figure out they've got them all in one place and I'm just going to shoot them <laughs> to prove my point. You know what? The vegans are going to have a fucking field day when lab-grown meat finally becomes decent. Oh, They're yeah. going to have, fu- have a fucking field day. Man. I don't know why that be... Look, isn't lab-grown meat just cloning animals? Cloning animal already tissue, think? yeah. Oh, just the tissue though. Just the tissue. Yeah, yeah. Rather and the thing is, they can grow the meat, but they haven't been able to grow the fat. But recently, they've <laughs> le- they've learned how to like grow the fat to it as well. That's interesting because yeah. you can see how the progression of that could go to then eventually like make, figuring out how to regrow limbs for amputees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. yeah. But you can also do meat sheets. What? It's just going to be a sheet of meat. Right, this is the way I imagine it working out. Because there's, why would you, why would you make it in the same shape as a bit of meat unless you're going for like luxury shit? I mean, it just sounds you know? like right what now. What you're gonna like do is you're gonna have one layer that's f- that's fucking protein, and then a thin layer of printed fat over the top of that, and it's gonna be your meat sheet. <laughs> that would be your rations for the week, your meat sheet. Oh, huh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like you chop your meat sheet up into the sections for the week. And then you fry up your meat sheet in the various versions. Is, of it, is meat this what sheet? they're getting um, given in like Russia at the moment? <laughs> this is basically yeah, what yeah. I think it's going to be like. Yeah, okay. yeah. But you know, the, 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 the vegans will, will be, be loving their meat sheet. Yeah, you know, yeah. they'll oh, be so loving it. Oh, they'll so they'll have the meat. flavour. Yeah, oh, it's fake meat then. It's real meat, but it's oh. not from an animal. Oh, I don't know if that would be okay for a vegan, though. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing died, though. Then Yeah, but they're playing yeah, God, then. They're playing there. God. They're playing yeah. God, which is something they don't believe in. To be fair, I reckon you probably will get the, like, the dogmatic, like... Oh, that's know. always been a thing. Cloning isn't anything new. I was yeah. watching a documentary about this. No, but you, when it comes to it, the, you will get the vegans who are like, oh, no, it's fine because it's not come from animals. And then you'll get yeah. the other ones who yeah, are like, yeah, yeah. no, it's not fine yeah. because it essentially is animals. Yeah. Blah! You're playing, <laughs> and then it'll be, but you're playing God. Who are you yeah. to decide? But imagine, imagine your meat sheet burger coming from McDonald's. You know, just yeah. a pound up, ground up piece of meat sheet. You know yeah. what, though, actually? Just a little bit of a tangent Some million there. nuggets made of meat sheet. Good, just to go with that as well. Just was, meat sheet. I don't understand why you've got extinct animals, you know, ones that are going extinct. Why can't you just clone them? We can clone all the animals now. Oh, well, it's difficult because you need, like, living tissue, ideally, you need to one, make a Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on about ones that have gone extinct, sorry. I'm on about ones oh, that are right. about to go extinct. Yeah, that is bullshit. So I, never never that. That. I never understood that. I never understood that. Jab it. Yeah. Clone it a load let's of go. Let's have a load of them. Yeah, you can sell them for loads as well yeah. or whatever. Sell them for the country. The thing is, you need there. enough of them. You need enough of them that they're not gonna like bang clones of themselves because then you end up with like weird genetic shit happening. You need to be able do to you like because brothers and sisters do bang in the animal world, so I don't know if it would. No, but th- it's not good for them. <laughs> it's it not makes, good for I them, mate. I don't think mate. it makes a difference. It does. Are you it sure? really fucking does. I don't That's know. That's the reason why yeah, like loads of fucking um. I think the animal pedigree world dogs are really badly inbred and like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on the breed there. Yeah, but they're still That's like, more because yeah. a certain breed's been created that way. 
like the um the pug bead. It's it's the not pug it's, bead was created. It's that not way. quite as simple as that because like you start getting weird temperament issues. You start getting like fucking yeah, but like, dicks, but you know no, you but lo- anyway. loads of st- <laughs> loads of stuff that is bad happens when you bang your sister. I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, we did because we got complex DNA. No, but th- th- they're animals. not exactly the same DNA. Yeah, I know, but I think there's some difference. No, there isn't. No, like I, it happens a lot. Banging your sister never an okay thing to do. You know it doesn't what, matter if you're those. a man or a rat or an ant. It doesn't matter. I mean, a rat, surely. Never be banging your sister. Ca- how inbred can you be if you're an ant? You really? can be, and it's not good. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to find this out. Can animals um, become well, be inbred? It? Yes, they can. Oh, is that what? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll look at it after. Become inbred. Animals become inbred. Become inbred. Yes. That's an e- interesting way to put it. Most obvious factors have been are poor reproductive efficiency, including high mortality rates. And high variation in normalities, yeah. It's being shown by normal studies of cattle, horses, sheep, swine, and laboratory animals. Okay, yeah. well. Low growth rates exactly and the high the same way it does with humans. You do oh, that okay, shit too yeah, long, yeah. it becomes a problem. It's probably not as bad then. Have you seen that fucking... That it could become a problem like straight away if you're banging your sister in it. Yeah, but have you seen that Have you seen that, fi- that video of the, uh, the guy who took all the photos of that inbred family? Oh, do I kind of wonder it like the... Um, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on. on no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Inbred family. This is going to be really upsetting. Just oh, so is you're it? ready. So oh, I'll ju- what? there we go. Why would, this, why would that be upsetting? The Whitakers. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think they're alive now. They are. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Well, at least they're alive now still. I don't know how many of them are alive. But oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I mean, we, we can't really say anything. It's their choice to do it. Yeah, you know. but the thing is, their their children are really, really, really fucking. They're yeah. just not there. Well, not I mean, in the, in the nicest way for that though, you can say is people always have to, you know, say this kind of thing like, um, you know, if you like they're on about like the same thing when you have like Down syndrome kids or like somebody with like you know high, um, autism or whatever, you know, yeah. and the whole concept when you can know before and that, and some people talk about getting rid of them and that. At the same time though, like. I obviously get that because they say, like, what kind of life is it going to be for the kid? Like, same kind of thing you're looking at here. Yeah. But at the same time, yes, it might be a te- uh, not the best life, but the only alternative would have been nothing. No life at all for them. They would never have even yeah, had a chance Yeah, I, I get that. You know what I mean? I get that. Like, but at the same time, like, they could have just not banged their, pa- their fucking yeah, sister. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Of course. So they shouldn't exist, yeah. obviously. But yeah, okay, they shouldn't exist. Actually, yeah, that's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. But for them, you know, like um, I'm sure, I'm sure they've had moments where they're happy. I'm sure they've had moments where they're people sad. like that, like um, if it's it, look, I'm trying to remember what the name of the actual um, disease is or condition, whatever it is, because uh, I know somebody who's got it. Yeah. Um, somebody used to be his him. Him and his mom were on the pool team. Like, obviously, it was harder for him, but he he, he gave it a good go yeah. and he like did okay, you know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he was a very happy guy. Like, he couldn't talk or anything properly, and he was like that kind of thing, you know, like always a dribble and that coming out. Yeah. But yeah, he was cool. He was very happy anyway. Yeah. That's like I've always said that. Like, it you get the feeling that a lot of like people that have got different conditions and I seem happy at least. Yeah. Or at least you want them to be. That's yeah. the main thing. They they shouldn't be feeling unhappy anyway. No, but it's it's just it's um yeah it's wounder. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously you shouldn't do it. But no, <laughs> I don't know why you would. No, like, so it's, was it's that just a mum and a dad, that, uh, a guy, a brother and a sister that were banging basically? I think it's kids. a brother and a sister, but I think also their parents before were also. Oh, was it? Okay. Like kind of inbred as well. Okay. So I mean, let's have a look. I'm gonna kind of know that actually. Um. American inbred family from Nigeria, West Virginia. They get a first gained public notoriety in 2020 when they appeared in Soft White Underbelly YouTube channel as part of a series of video interviews. Um, in an episode with podcaster Joe Rogan, yeah. Mark later explained how he discovered the family while exploring Raleigh County. He noted, oh God, Ray was on the top, but he was standing next. Okay, and I was hoping they were just going to give us the, you know, the you know, genealogy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Betty Whitaker revealed that she, Lorne, Ray, Larry and Kenneth were only five of 15 children born to Gracie and John, double first cousins. Okay, so their mum and yeah. dad were fir- double first cousins. Yeah. Um. Okay, and they were all the kids of them, and then she banged her yeah. someone. 
Um, oh, so one of them was from her being raped by somebody. Mm. Um, I thought that it only looked like the one was the one looked, you know, like a bit more. I don't want to say normal, but you know what I mean. But with it, <laughs> not inbred. Yeah. Um, like actually, I'm not sure who I was thinking. Obviously, the middle one, I'm not on about. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah. But yeah. Not great, though. No, not great. Not great. Not the kind not of great. thing you would hope for, really. Not great. We need uh, to think of something. Something. There was something neat. I was gonna say. Um, from what we were saying before, and I can't remember where. Oh. I, what it was now there was something I was going to jump on something else but then I think the inbred family kind of took me out of it <laughs> what a surprise what a surprise eh I yeah. guess oh well look at that though it's Barbie a feminist that's an amazing Piers Morgan <laughs> thing right there um, uh, I yeah I will here. leave that bit off for now anyway uh, did you know uh, what Australia's done I uh, don't know Australia's become one of those countries now where like it's funny because I was talking to that um the comedian who, I'm sorry, my, your name's completely gone over my mind, but on the last KD Comedy podcast where the mic didn't work and I was in London, I was interviewing the fella. Um, that's available now on KD Comedy probably, so check that out. Yeah. Um, might not be on the Spotify version, because I don't know if I'm going to want to put it out on the Spotify version with it being a phone recording yeah. that I had to use. Yeah. might just be a YouTube special. So check it out on there, babies. Yeah, yeah. But Australia, we were talking on that about how it's, quite a nanny state and people don't realise that oh yeah yeah you you can't you can't like put certain computer games up because yeah. they've got like violence in them they mm-hmm. couldn't put out Left for Dead for a while because they oh, said really? they were infected and <laughs> not zombies so they're not dead they're, they're still alive and it's like they were like no they're definitely dead mate they're it, definitely yeah. dead and especially when you shut them yeah go on yeah uh, that's amazing that you couldn't even do that anyway, though. Yeah. You know, it's a game. Like, also, if you ever put any reference to drugs in it, that's gonna go get banned. Uh. If, if it's a good, like, reference to drugs, if it's drugs, or a, a positive, good one. <laughs> if drugs, you mean? Oh, if taking positive. drugs is positive. positive. Then yeah, that's yeah, yeah. unacceptable. Yeah. yeah, you can't glorify it at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, because obviously, as a person with your own brain, um, your uh, decision whether to take drugs or not is entirely based drugs. on a computer game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially. Yeah, and more than anything, the computer game's opinion on it. Well, exactly. Mm-hmm. If they're given a negative if, if opinion, if I'm on listening it, to a computer game to play it, then I'm obviously listening to it for all of my political and social ideas. Obviously. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Australia, though, you know, they've gone. That's why I'm so aggressive. I play God of War. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Now I believe in beheadings. So. I have. That is one thing I thought about you every time we've done a podcast. Yeah. I thought, wow, he's an aggressive fella. Yeah. He's just so aggressive. So angry. I fear for my life when we're sitting here. Yeah. You know. And I'm sure you do as I I'm just do. violent, mate. I'm just yeah, un- yeah. unspeakably violent. I've been playing a bit of Shadow of Mordor lately as well, so yeah. I felt like chopping yeah. someone's head off as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Just what you do. It's just a shame there's no walks around, because you'd be on it. Oh, yeah, you'd yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be on it yeah, like yeah. a car fucking bomb. It's all right. I might just... Um, this is how it goes. When it, you start with chopping one of the chop orcs head off, yeah. and then you get into one and the chop the, the Jewish head off. Is that how that works? Yeah. That's Jesus I mean, I was Christ. trying to think of a word for it, like, because um, I was going to say, like, something like the whites or something like that. What would it be for Jewish? I couldn't think of a... The Jews. Um, oh, that, Jews. That's, that's not great. That's not great. No, uh, is, that, is that a bad thing to say, the Jews? I don't think that really is necessarily. No, I don't think it is. Even, like, see, I've seen, like, a debate on programmes, literally them saying, is it okay to say the Jews? And they're like, yeah, it's okay to say that. And he's like, yeah, but what about the Jews? No. He's like, no, it's not okay to say that. I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. This is a, one of the few times where context actually Jewish. matters. Jewish, Jewish, yeah. Jewish? But that sounds like that sounds like you're um, accusing them of only being part. Jew. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one. He's Jewish, <laughs> ish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it yeah. does sound like it that. It does a bit. Did you know that anti-Semitism um, doesn't actually just mean Jewish people? No. no. You know that? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. It's like Semite, isn't it? What he comes from. Uh, uh, Semites like there's a lot of Asian people too, basically. Uh, in it. Okay. And you think about where a lot. Of it's the just slowly become like and now. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Now it's become that thing, isn't it? Yeah. Racism just for Jewish people because they get their own word for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Like, I don't mind whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever floaty, whatever floaty proverbial boat. Yeah. Better than the Titanic. 
I mean, it's, it's weird because it's like anti-Semitism and then it's Islamophobia. You know, it's like there's this. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Islamophobia. But like, that's a different vibe. That's like fear of mm. where. It's that's more about the um, extremism, I'd say. Yeah, but anti-Semitism is not about fear of. It's like they want to kill you. You know, like it's not necessarily like, oh, I don't want it near me. It makes me scared. I thought anti-Semitism was you more just didn't like them, like. Because Kanye, see, everyone was saying that Kanye was anti-Semitic and he didn't seem to like them. No, that's true. He that's true, but that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. It's just but like, it. a phobia is normally something where you don't want to go anywhere oh, near it. Not that you want to attack it. Oh, you about Islamophobia? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm with you. Not that you want to attack it, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah, you're you know, scared of it. Yeah, yeah. Which is exactly what um, terrorists want. So if anything, yeah. you're playing right into their game. Yeah. Which is weird because it's like homophobia is like that as well. It's like yeah, why, true, it's, uh, why would you be scared of the gays? Why are you trying? What to are the gays going to do? Why, really? Why, why are you trying to attack a cock? Yeah, seems pretty gay to me. It does seem pretty gay. <laughs> it does seem pretty gay. <laughs> seems pretty gay, guys. Seems pretty gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. It's true. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you ain't gonna have any fight about that, are you? No. <laughs> I do agree that a fight it's a bit long, isn't it? Yeah. Goes on for a while. Or at the same time, do it in the background so I don't mind. But why I think what bothers me more actually is the shops um kind of jumping on it, you know, making it into um they did the same Oh what, thing? the whole the whole gay pride thing. Yeah, like, yeah. But the, the thing is like the commercialization of it, that's yeah, it. Yeah, there's there's they places did the same thing with Black Lives Matter. Yeah, the it's thing is there's there's places that have done like gay pride stuff one like one year and in the same year have like cut life insurance for same sex <laughs> couples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's what so the true. fuck? So that is so fucking mm. corporate, man. Yeah, yeah. That is like one hundred percent what corporations do. Yeah, because on the outside they can uh, they can save a bit of cash. Yeah, you can do what you want as long as you like, you know, uh, show your loyalty during Pride. Month. Yeah, provided you put that the flag year. up. Yeah, yeah, and turn your logo into that flag. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Forget about people. Like the normal guys that go around, you know, and just are nice to gay people in general. Yeah. And I don't really see the point of pride because all my life it's felt like you're not protesting anything. I now. think it's we're it, all okay with it. It's slowly, becoming, everybody's cool with I it. I do think it is slowly becoming less necessary. That's what I mean. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But I think there's still there's still enough people out there who need to be convinced that it can still stick around for a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, um, you know what I mean, once once we're once yeah. we're through sort of that final phase of like the people who genuinely hated gay people, yeah, have died yeah, yeah, once out, they died out, yeah, then basically I think we're probably at a point where it's like you know what we're all chill now we're all just fucking people. Yeah. I would say the problem is at the moment is that it's become so divided up into this sort of multiple things of like this and that and that and that and this and that and this and that and that and that and that. It's like oh my god. Calm down, calm the fuck down. You don't need to label every single oh, one of them the individually. People. Yeah, you don't need oh. to label every single one of them individually. <laughs> you just need to represent all of them. And ideally, I think the rainbow flag does that just in general. I know originally that was like supposedly different things, and I know they've added yeah. in the thing with the I, I, pattern, I, and I, that's fine. But all I'm saying is, eventually. All of that, all of the stuff that these people are building, all of this stuff on of like, I'm a this, that, that with a that and a this, this, and I'm a over there, right? I'm a two spirit trans. Yeah, all of all of that That's stuff. Legit, I think. Eventually, all of that is going to mean absolutely nothing. Yeah, because we will actually get to the point of what this is all actually getting towards, which is you don't do what you want. Yeah, you do what you want. Yeah. You don't yeah, yeah, co- you don't Calm describe down. yourself as any other particular type of thing apart from a person or yeah. a this or a that. You don't have to put like a label you don't have to, to put it. a huge label to it. You're you just a fucking to... human being. Yeah. You and maybe you fuck this person or that person. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah, what yeah. your fucking the fucking yeah. preferences we, are because it's down to you and the person you're fucking. We're at that more with sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is a lot more just whatever now. Yeah. Hence why, hence why I say that like, um, you know, like gay pride and that. Like it's all you know, just gay in general. Yeah. It's um, everyone's a cool bit because yeah. it's even got to the point now where it's like a lot of people don't even put labels on that. Yeah, yeah. But th- that's why, like. I think that the rest of it does damage to the whole gay pride stuff because it's gay pride and it was supposed to be for... Because obviously the LGB are all... Because I, I was listening to... Lesbian, um, gay, bi. Tra- I, I was yeah. listening to um, somebody in a lesbian group talk about this and she was saying about how like um, it shouldn't be your group together because the L, G and B are all about sexual orientation, which is what it was from the yeah. beginning when it started. Q could still stay in there, LGBTQ. Because queer is like this. Thing. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, LGBTQ. Because yeah. um, of sexual orientation, but then the rest on top are just sexual um, identity. 
Yeah, which is it's technically a different thing. Completely, di- it's completely technic- different thing. Yeah, it's technically a different the thing. The first ones are about who you want to bang. Yeah. The second the other ones are about, about what you identify you yourself as yeah. personally. Yeah. Completely yeah. different things. Completely different. Which is why which is one of the things that we were all sort of fighting towards in the initial of yeah. all this stuff. It's, like like ju- it's all completely different. Just take your own locker room. Yeah. Just go and fight your own thing from over there. Do, yeah. do your own thing. Don't jump on theirs. Yeah. Well, they've been doing this for fucking years and years. Yeah. Don't jump on their bandwagon. <laughs> And like we said Band at the beginning, the gays aren't going to stop you, so, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> they'll just let you come on the wagon. Yeah. Like, okay, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> was that a good enough impression? I don't know. I guess it was. Yeah. Oh. I love the gays, man. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I think they're some of my favourite comedians, you know. Oh, like, some, yeah, some, proper cam yeah, people, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. proper cam ones. They're just I don't, they're I don't so funny. I don't like, though. Drag queens as well are Alan great. Carr. Alan Carr pisses me off. Oh, yeah, he pisses me off. He pisses me the fuck off. You know why he annoys me more, though? Why? Because it, I was saying this to my mother before, like, right now, for example, yeah. I could make a lot more jokes about my teeth. It would be easy to do. Yeah. Little things like that, you know. Yeah. But I don't because I don't plan on having it forever. Because yeah. if I do it and they start going really well, then it's just going to mean that I'm going to have to be, I'm going to be stuck with that then. Yeah. Like an Alan Carr. Yeah. Because Alan Carr is stuck with those teeth yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, because that's that, part of his identity. That's like yeah. main identity. Yeah, yeah. That and being camp. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The yeah. teeth and campness. And the glasses, he can't change his look at all, he's stuck. Yeah. He couldn't even get, I'm sure he could deal with getting in shape, maybe. Yeah. But if he got in shape, got some contacts, and sorted his teeth out, because he's got the money to do it, Yeah. then... He's he, a completely he would, different motherfucker. Yeah, he'd have to change his whole set. Yeah, yeah. His whole gimmick, his whole character. You know what I'm saying? So, there's a whole different dude. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to... I forgot the original point for that, but, yeah, you don't want to do that. No. Uh, you don't want to do Jimmy Car- uh, Jimmy Carr, Alan Carr, anyway. No. Yeah. An, uh, the, the Jimmy Carr, Alan Carr. Is there a car in a uh, grassroots comedy? I swear there is. There is, yeah. I know a car. Oh, what is that? I'm not thinking of myself. But, uh, no. I, I don't know. I know I do. But that w- I'll think of it and it'll come to me. Yeah. And it'll be annoying because I'll be just masturbating at the end of the night. And it was a <laughs> A Nebraska rodeo athlete and his horse was killed when they were struck by lightning. That sounds like something that would happen. It did, it did. So therefore. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, do you want me to tell you what the um, topic was for next time, actually? Yeah, go ahead. Might as well. We're getting near the, uh, near the end of yeah, the Yeah, time. I can tell you now, because yeah. a lot of people won't even watch it here, and yeah, so we can yeah. even have a little chat on it. Yeah. I'm going to be revisiting, what do you think it is? Actually, that doesn't matter. Your opinion means nothing. Oh, okay. We're going to be revisiting the JFK assassination. Ooh, yeah. And JFK got shot in the head. He did, he did, that did happen. While that is the one thing you cannot car. deny. Yeah. He did definitely get shot in the head. While riding in a car. While riding in a car, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've also got a lot more undeniable. information. <laughs> oh, that's undeniable. Um, there's a lot more that happened after his death as well. It was just ridiculous. Ah. I bet a lot of people don't know, for example, that um, part of transporting his body included a um, Mexican standoff between the Secret Service and the Sheriff police in texas jesus christ yep <laughs> and which only didn't come to shots because the sheriff was like okay mother of i'll God. let you break state law it's fine go ahead jesus christ <laughs> well fake some documents don't worry <laughs> that's fucking insane yeah yeah legitimately happened uh they got a bronze casket for him that traveling transatlantic across um, you know, the whole of USA, because it wasn't a short journey back to Washington. Yeah, no. In a bronze casket in the heat. Didn't go well for the Fucking body. Fucking Jesus. Didn't go well. Especially when you're in a rush and you're breaking shit and rustling about too and you oh, break it. Oh, did it burst? It did a few things. Oh. There was, it wasn't that bad. Oh. They put a lot of stuff in there to make sure, you know, stuff didn't go too bad. You know, there's... And that definitely worked. You know, there's there's a rumour that Henry VIII's coffin exploded when he was when he was fucking put in the ground. That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he was a big fella. He was a big fella. Yeah. And apparently you could smell him coming. He had like a gangrenous yeah, yeah, foot yeah, that yeah. was... Was gross. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I thought you just never washed. No, no. Literally, you could smell him coming a mile off, and it smelled like like rotting flesh. <laughs> it makes very sense. Yeah. I don't think and Jude Law, when he was playing him, I to try and emulate, yeah, apparently wow. in a new thing, 
when he is emulating, he decided to wear a cologne that he got them to make that smelt of rotting flesh. Just to be like, yeah, I'm a real method actor. I'll oh, fuck off. If you're a real method actor, you wouldn't just have stopped eating. Just stink bombing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a method actor, you wouldn't have stopped eating from the time he was given the role. That's right. Yeah, and, and I'm guessing you would have got huge. gout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would have had to become a stoner to get yeah, gout. Yeah. I mean, to get rid of the gout after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even tell you what Australia ended up doing, did I? No. That's what I was going to get to. Yeah. What Australia ended up doing. They have legalised medical psychedelics. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. The one I did see on the bottle uh, was psilocybin. I saw nice. that. Uh, I'm trying to, I know I've heard that. I'm trying to remember which one that is again. Mm. I'm gonna psilocybin's just mushrooms. All is it? Of the is mushrooms that? have got psilocybin in Oh, it. that's just mushrooms then. Yeah. Oh, okay, see, I was going to check, but I didn't need to. You're a fan of mushrooms? I've tried them, yeah. Yeah, all right. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try I haven't got properly it. fucked up on them, though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want I need that. to get fucked up on them. Have you still got I need to see some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a little bit. A little bit. But I need more. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. need a lot more. And you had a little bit in you. Yeah. Yeah. You do need I need some like stronger like shit, really. That's what I need. I don't, yeah. I, I don't think they're that strong, though. You mm. have to eat a lot to get them. There's only... They grow naturally, like you have to go out and find them. Yeah, but only at certain times of yeah, year. Yeah, twice well. a year. It's not going to be at this point now. Twice a year, so it probably won't be now. No, you probably. Yeah. I imagine it's probably more like spring. The and easier autumn. way to do it is to get mushroom spores and grow them yourself, which you can do. What right. spores? Yeah. Yeah. Get. Someone will send you spores to look at under a microscope. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, lo and behold, ah, oh, spilt them on this soil. Oh no! Oh, oh I, I accidentally put it in my wardrobe near a warmth. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so what the spores look like? Because I've never actually thought about what It comes they... in a syringe. Oh, okay. So they yeah. something to blow normally. Are they something to? Yeah, blow yeah. Away? But in this, in this, they're in like a solution that sort of yeah, keeps yeah. them, and then you just squirt them into the into the soil. Oh, I never really thought about that, yeah. like the whole spores and how mushrooms in general. Yeah. Are they kind of like I imagine? You know, when you blow in a um. What's that called? Like a thing. Oh, a dandelion thing. That's the yeah, one. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Something like that. That's yeah. how they do it. Yeah. They okay. sort of they they send out these little yeah spores that are essentially you know half of a thing, and they they get sort of you know cross pollinated, and then they fall out somewhere else, and then they grow more mushrooms off of anything that they can, and you know, you know. I think the one thing I have to do hasn't happened. I think I'm okay actually. In that case, I can cool. not go to Dom's. That's cool. I love you, Dom, but you know. Long ting, man. Long ting. Long ting, blood ting. Long ting, blood ting. It's long ting. Yes, yeah, a JFK, then you're excited about looking at JFK. Yeah. 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 I do enjoy it. I was li- I've been listening, it just by, um, I think we talked about it on one of the last podcasts right at the end. Yeah. And I don't think you knew that much about it, and it kind of got me interested in, because I tried to tell you some of the stuff, and I was like, oh, I can't remember it. Yeah, yeah. So I've just been watching a load of stuff again, like, just because I wanted to remember it all, and I've learned some new stuff, for example, the stuff that happened um, when I was walking back from town, I think, having a long walk, having a split, I was yeah. listening to that, a little, oh, like, Sorry, I've got something in my fucking eye. Sorry. A little podcast about um, all the stuff that happened from a mortician. Fucking hell. Yeah, it was very good. Um... Yeah, it's yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to that one. I've got yeah. to say, I'm looking forward to that. The stuff that's involved in it, man, it's great. And there's still stuff that I remember that hasn't been, I haven't found again now. Like the stuff about, um, you know, how shit his secret service were the day before and yeah. that, when I was drinking. They didn't even um, give the route out, you know, to the FBI. They didn't tell them where they were going. What? They didn't go. tell where they were going? No, no, they didn't give them Jesus the plan at all. Christ. And if they had a done... Um, but the FBI also didn't tell them that in that area, they knew the area they were going, didn't tell them that in that area was a um, person that they'd been watching who was like a Russian sympathizer, possibly like doing stuff for the Russians, yeah. who'd already shot at one person and tried to kill them by the name of Lee Harvey Oswald. Fuck. So if that would have mentioned that... That might have helped. It might have helped. Yeah. But the problem is as well, though, because uh, that building he was in is where he worked. Yeah. So it made sense he was there. Hence why when he left and he was stopped by a policeman while he was holding the gun, he was able to then leave the building after the assassination. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't tell me any more because yeah, I want to yeah, know yeah. this shit when it comes in a there's big Oh, man, sum, trust me, there's so mental. much more. Yeah, this is there's weird. There's so much more, man. This is weird. I want to uh, know this shit. I mean, just to finish off what I was saying then, though, the little bit shit. What was the other point? He was leaving then? with the gun. He was leaving with the gun, but... um. 
Oh yeah, yeah. The last little bit I was gonna say about how shit the Secret Service were. Yeah. Um, uh, they went out getting drunk the night before it as well and didn't come until like six and the thing was at like eight or something like yeah, that. Yeah. So they weren't in a great mind. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing was, so yeah. Um, so there's all those windows and they looked at them all along the route, just the CIA. Uh, no, the Secret Service. Sorry. Um, they looked at this route and they were like, "Oh, you know what? I don't think we're gonna have the manpower to go in and check all these windows." to make sure nobody can, you know, shoot at him. So what we'll do instead is check none of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all or nothing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all works. or nothing. Maybe Can't we do should, both. Maybe we should put the cover on the um, car in that case. Yeah. Ah, no, I'll be fine. Nah. Fuck it. Yeah. And I'm not going to mention the fact of the evidence that has been found since, which very much proves that it's not. It wasn't just Oswald. Yeah. There's no way you can debate it, yet people try to, and it's great. Okay, I'm interested. Great, yeah. I'm fucking interested. Okay. Well then, for now, shall mm-hmm. we... Um, That's fine, yeah. Let's plug it up. Let's plug it up. Let's fucking plug it up. Plug, plug, plugging it up. Uh, I mean, for my plugs, actually, I've still got some gigs coming up uh, in London. I will be... Uh, actually, you do your plugs first. I'm going to find these, because I need to get okay. the dates. Okay, so I am going to be nowhere. I have no gigs. I have no gigs at all. It's great. I'm really enjoying not having any gigs at the moment because I've got nothing I want to say. Eventually, I will have something I want to say, and when I do, I'll be back doing gigs. Until then, it's not important. Um, in the meantime, though, you can always check out Post Apocalypse at Mail Tree House. That's available wherever you get a, uh, um, podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. Wherever you get your fucking podcast, right? You can get them from Deezer and Deez Nuts. Yeah, you can. Anchor on Spotify. That's one thing now, you know. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Anchor, no more. Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's all one thing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, you can also check out Ad Breaker and. What's the other one? <laughs> you asking me? Yeah. Co op comedians? Co op comedians, which will be coming out fairly soon. Yeah, there'll be some, uh, a lot more coming out of that with some sexy editing. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there'll be a, a yeah. quite a sexual editor that yeah, will do yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to look at it and be like, oh, that's just giving me an erection. I don't even know why. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know how, trust me. Yeah, yeah, You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a wetty, you know, depending on what kind a of you wetty. are. Wetty. <laughs> yeah, wetty. You know, that's what the girls get. We get erections, they get ways. That's what they get. Well, and they literally do. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. you yeah. say that to a girl, they'll be like, The yeah, grossest yeah, yeah. way I've ever heard it described as a wide on. What? A wide on. Why? What's that? Why? <laughs> it doesn't get wide, does it? Does it open up like a like um, a fish? A fish's mouth breathing it out of the water. Doesn't, like contract oh. harder, you know. Oh. They like they can they can sort of Yeah, it's not wide, that's more like um Yeah, they can pinch up though sometimes, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that's the opposite of wide though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a voice grip. There is a thing you yeah. can do, the voice uh what is the it, the iron curtain. Grip. Oh yeah. The iron curtain. That that sounds good. You never heard of that? No. It's not good. No. It's a, a reflex that apparently does exist in a woman. A woman. A woman. A woman. <laughs> the when, um, woman. They got a one top. <laughs> Or, or however, sorry, and um, their vaginal like muscles and all that, whatever contract it's called, hard and contract hard to the point you need a crowbar to get them off. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm talking about when there's a, you know, some fun times going on. Nay. Something's inside the hole. Nay. Nay. Yeah, you probably made that noise afterwards. Nay. I would. Nay, dear sir. But um, yeah, plugs finished. Uh, yeah. What yeah. about what about yeah. your plugs? Okay. Um, I have got. Coming up uh, in this next month, I'm going to be on July the 12th and July the 13th. I will be in London. I will be doing big nose comedy. Um, what is it? July the 12th, I will be at Zabrano, uh, which is the Zinging Zabrano in Soho, 7 p.m. Zinging Zabrano. Huh? And then 13th um, of what I just said uh, this month, July, July, 13th of this month at 8 p.m. On the first day, I'll be at the Brilliant Boogaloo. I Brilliant love, Boogaloo. I love their alliteration, you know. That's great. Mm-hmm. In the highest gate of them all, that will be in London too. High gate. And then I'll be doing exactly the same the month after August. I'll be on the 16th and the 17th, as before. First at the Spano, then at the Boogaloo. And I'll also be doing a couple of things with Rats Comedy in between there in London. I'm not too sure which yet, because the panel show, once again, has been cancelled. Oh, great. Because of ticket sales. Because naturally it's hard to get people in yeah. for them. Uh, but I've got my spot already for the panel show coming up. But I have been basically given a free ticket to do whichever night I want nice. there too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I've got a couple of like open 
open invitation for gigs now. Uh, nice. Like, maybe I'm not that much of a dickhead. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I've, I've got to try and get my shit together oh. and do some more gigs again. I am a dickhead. just a polite one. Yeah. Yeah, you should do, though, I if you want to. Like... If you I, want I, to, I don't know. I, I've still got loads of stuff that I should just rewrite and bring back out and do, but it's just work is so mm. fucking all encompassing. I mean, the only the worst thing for you. I have four days off well. this week, and I got loads of shit done. Mm. I think you very much get in your head for it as well, don't you? Yeah, the th- the thing is, like, I I I find it really hard to do multiple things at once. I kind of get yeah, obsessed yeah. on one project for a bit, and then yeah. I can move on, you know. But um, I ha- I have, as you know, with me, I have to have different things to go yeah. on because I lose the attention from one, and then yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well. Sorry, uh, sorry to just butt in again. Yeah. Um, you, I finally had that doctor's appointment today. Ah. They, uh, you know, I waited like a it's almost two months anyway. Yeah. Um, it was in May, and it's now July. Um, and they said like a few months, uh, like probably like a month ago, that um, I got a doctor's uh, a telephone appointment instead. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then I was really confused and I woke up and he said, you missed your doctor's appointment. Uh, ring up to book another one if you want, basically. I was like, well, what? What the fuck? So I meant to ring him today, to be fair, and I forgot because I've been quite busy today. Yeah. So tomorrow, they're going to get an indignant call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Best be getting a fucking... Uh, in person point, I'm pretty fucking sharp. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying. I don't mind doing the um, phone one either. Like, but. But, you know. As long as they listen to what I'm fucking saying and yeah. don't question it and then yeah. say, oh, we'll get you in for another appointment so I can check it out then. How does um, January sound? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect yeah. timing. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. The sound's absolutely perfect. I've got nothing to do between now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just suffer. <laughs> yeah. Right then, well. On that note, no uh, note of suffering. Yeah, I'm not gonna suffer like Trudeau's uh, opponent. Though. No, that motherfucker got caned. Yeah, I might move to Canada. Yeah, I respect that fella. Yeah, I've always liked the idea of Canada. Yeah, maple syrup, maple syrup, Tim Hortons. Good. Yeah, but it would cost so much over there, wouldn't it? The maple nah, syrup to get. It's cheaper. No, but they, they they love that shit over there. It's like yeah, liquid gold. No, but that's them. the thing. They're the one, the only people who make it. They've got to export it out to everywhere else. That's why it's like liquid gold over there, though, isn't it? Yeah, but there's a lot of it. They've got them. They've yeah. got the maple syrup reserve as well. So they've they've always got it under a decent price. Don't worry yeah, about it. People rob that shit, have you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. and bourbon. Yeah, bourbon. Okay, I think they do do bourbon, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you did a while ago. No, they, they, yeah, no, it was just the maple syrup. Maple syrup? Literally just the maple syrup. Oh, okay. They I sold mi- mi- like millions of, pa- of dollars worth of, of maple syrup. Because it's great maple syrup price, is that what yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it was pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, until next time. Yeah, man. Uh, until next time. Keep it time. squishy. And then keep that shit logical. And yeah. Wrapped up tight. And then grab it, twist it around, and shove it up your butt. Let that little rascal nibble on your asshole. Yeah. Sweet.